You turkey. <laughs> <laughs> turkey, turkey, turkey. <laughs> Episode 34. Yes, 34. That's a good number. That's a very good number in your world. That was my football number. Yeah. That's Hakeem Olajuwon's number, my uncle. Um, and other stuff, I don't know. Mm. I like to put money on 34 when I gamble. Mm. Hi, guys. Everything ain't a boat, Judo. Welcome to another episode of Please Delete This. Yo, I don't like your energy, Jen. <laughs> I'm like just trying to open up my, my candy, my box. My... You want me to help you? No, I'm trying Good, to open up I was my candy. say no. In I, the I building. <laughs> Sorry, Darren. <laughs> we I have Darren. I want to noise while you're talking. Hold right, on, okay, I gotta okay. open this. We'll wait. Hold on. Bim. No, I used no, to have no, copper no, tunnel. It's gonna take a while. Hold on. Man, if you don't pass that shit, <laughs> <laughs> I got your, scissors. Say your name, woman. <laughs> Whose name, man? Eh? Oh. Darren. <laughs> Bim. <laughs> Genevieve. What up, peeps? Oh, Darren, use scissors. Yeah, I'm not making all this crumpling noise. I was going to use my teeth if you wanted to go there. But I didn't think she would appreciate me putting my mouth on this. Right, hey, that's slap. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> hey, <laughs> now you know. Inhale, exhale with my flow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was listening to the dog, uh, doggy style over the weekend. God Did bless Snoop Dogg and the whole uh, dog pound, man. Classic. Oh, that's funny. Oh my god! Oh my god! That thing happened. What happened? <laughs> Is it when it's so sweet and it just hits you right in the back mm-hmm. of your jaw? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. I was just talking to was it Tisha about how there needs to be a Nate Dog Appreciation Day. Like we never celebrate. Listen, his oh, birthday, right. the day he died, nothing. No, like real shit. Like for real. I can't even because when listening to that album, I I fell in love again with his mel- his melodic presence mm. um, in talking about hoes and shit. Mm. Uh, and you think about all his features, mm-hmm. area codes. Um, just he had a ton of features. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, should we? Hmm. We could do our own Nate Dog appreciation. Hell yeah. Thing. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We but should. we're gonna do that. Yeah, yeah we're gonna flood our uh, Was that Instagram Snoop timeline with it. That or something. he did that song with. You remember? Uh, Never leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. I that think that was, was his song. Or no, oh, or was Snoop was song? on Never leave me yeah. alone. Never leave me alone. And he had an album too, man. Yo, rest in peace, Nate Dog, man. He a real one. Mm. Nobody wants to eat none of my biscuits. Oh shit. Go ahead. <clears throat> How was your week? Past weeks, week, Weekends? week. I feel like oh, it's a long yeah. time since yeah. I seen y'all. Oh, because like we too. did Wednesday last week, so it's been like eight days. Oh, that's right. Yes. Why are we doing Wednesday again? Because um, Darren wasn't in town. Where you we going? Kansas oh, Kansas. I'm like, oh. where was it? <laughs> yeah, I feel like we didn't hear much about Kansas. In yeah, the there chat. was nothing I really hear about no? Kansas. I mean, I was like, so I landed, what, Thursday morning, afternoon, and then just went right to work, had to back up a bunch of computers, like 20 computers or so, and then hung out for the rest of the night, and then um, the following Friday, just backed up, every, uh, restored everything, moved all the computers over, ate, ate food, and went to sleep. <laughs> I went to sleep at like a good 9.22. Really? Yeah. Mad specific, Yo, my nigga. It was like, I didn't even like fall asleep. It was like, let me put my phone down, take off my glasses, shut off the TV, good night world. You cut the TV off at 920? No, 20, I was just like, no, nah, I can't do it. And I woke up at five and flew back home just in time to make a surprise 40th birthday Yo, party. You the man for that. <laughs> hustle. Thank you. Hustle, Thank you. hustle. How was the party? Uh, it was dope. It was uh, I'm very, so glad very I didn't good. have to do it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you. It was fun. Um, happy birthday to Adam. I feel like, so you ever DJ for a party and then realize, okay, you're the only person of color in the room. Yep. No big deal, I guess. So um, you're going through your your reps or whatever, and somebody comes and asks a question of you, and it's almost like they don't expect you to know or have it. So I had somebody come, and I mean, it was a very simple request. Like, oh, can you play... Um, uh, from this moment by Shania Twain. Okay, and I was like, yeah, I got you. And they're like, you have it. And I was like, yeah, like I, I have it. Oh my god, I didn't think you would have it. And then I why was the like, fuck would you ask me? <clears throat> yes, right. So, but, and especially nowadays with technology, even if I didn't have it, I can get it. I can get it right yeah. now. Yeah, but she sees, you know, they see the dreads. And yeah, they, 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 you, know. you should have played the reggae version. That's the one that I know. Wow. Reggae Gold 1999. You know, it's always been my dream to like, like ruin a whole party just by playing whatever I want. Whether they ask it's beautiful though not. the reggae version. It yeah. really is. Yeah. The beat I mean, if you, when you add reggae or something, it just opens so up a whole yeah, you new just world. Get that yeah, sway in it. That stranger in my house. I forgot who's it by. Told you. Told you. Stranger in my house. Don't understand. Tell me about tell us, man, with the stranger in my house stuff. Was a stranger in my house. Took a while to figure out. Oh, but it was a good gig. 
uh, happy I made it back in time. Sure enough. And uh, yeah, how just was right you? entertainment. Yeah. If I had a birthday party, would you DJ for free? Of course. So sweet. I wouldn't ask you to for free, but I, I would. I wouldn't accept your money. That's so. I'd that's accept so <laughs> Charge her ass. That's why I didn't ask you. You are right? You smart. <laughs> Nigerian. Yeah. Speaking of Happy Independence Day. Who the blasting? I got over that. What do you mean blasting? <laughs> oh, you didn't hear? About, oh, you didn't see that? No, I'm your no. sister. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I think I did see that. Yeah. I didn't know who posted it, though. Oh, it was me. I tried, you know, I realized, ah, shit, it was, I'm a day late. I had still, you know, let me just try it. Let me do it. I Man, Crystal, I, I have to name my next child. I have to give it a Nigerian name. Well, she says it with jest, of course. I didn't believe the nah, jest. I think Probably it's, I think it's, <laughs> it's full. She came at him. Yeah. She's like, first of all, it's a day late. <laughs> Second of all, the song in the background is a Ghanaian song. How was I supposed to know that? <laughs> Darren, you got to do your research. You're right. Yeah, you're right. AKA as Bim. Yeah. The word. <laughs> but you did better than Bim. At least you posted. I ain't the, the, the Nigerian nope. didn't even nope. wear green, probably. No. Nope. What I do? What was I wearing? I don't know. I was wearing white. You probably tea. doing renovations. As I figured, that's why you weren't answering. No, I was in uh, Vegas still. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, yep. that's pretty good. Reason. I guess you had a good week. I mean, you know. Yeah, that's cool. Shani lives there, so it's it's regular. Regular. How was regular. Vegas? Um, I learned some stuff. I didn't learn some stuff. All right, so we went out there. Uh, the brothers and my cousin went with one of his homies. So when we go out, the cookies are good, right? I don't even like chocolate. I like those. He did. He's a terrorist. Anyways, um, <laughs> we go out, you know, and we do the VIP thing because we're old. We don't want to stand around. And... Because you guys are bougie, fancy, thought ass niggas. Have you you been? You went out to Vegas. I don't really think I went huh? out. Went out. There's a lot of people. It's just a lot of people. Uh-huh. So we went to a lounge slash club on the top of the palms oh of course you did whatever so i don't want to stand around we we don't want to wait for whatever just do vip it makes more sense mm-hmm. and we do the same thing at dre's now i'm in dre's and there's a lot of people and i'm sitting in vip indian style and what? i were all you doing this because i can't picture shenny doing that no no just me i invited them to join me but they didn't <clears> want to of course so you okay. wanted to find your zen <clears throat> yeah in vip and with that my mm-hmm. mind my third eye was awakened awoken your, your, sh- your chakra was in line. My chakras were aligned, hmm. and I hyper focused on the, the tricks that women play when hopping from VIP to VIP to VIP. It is so fun. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> so right next to us, dudes in the VIP brought these chicks, and you knew that's what their game was. Mm-hmm. So they're in there. One of the guys came back with women that they prefer. <clears throat> oh, about three of them. Oh my. So you kind of see the the girls that were there first kind of hang around and dance, mm. and then they kind of got pushed off to the side, to the side, to the side, and then the bouncer was like, "Hey, y'all got to get out!" Wow. <laughs> right. So I'm laughing to myself. I'm like, "Guys, you, come sit next to me this. and yeah. watch." Yeah, sit in India style. Shani said no and kept drinking. So I sit. I these couldn't. Chicks, I can't picture Shani doing no, Indian stuff. Do no, he wouldn't. No. So they came back. They're dancing outside of ours. Then they make their way inside a little bit and boss was like hey i said you gotta go <laughs> that's embarrassing as fuck and why would a, you subject yourself to that it, right so but the success rate though for women who do it you make out you get it's in the club high, yeah. who knows what they pay yeah and then you kind of dance around mm-hmm. and some dudes will give you all their alcohol maybe give you money and who knows what they do after the club but i'm like right away my mind jumps to the equality thing do y'all really want? <laughs> do you really, really want equality? Because what man is gonna go up in the club and kind of hang out around a bunch of women in VIP hey. on some pick me shit? Mm-hmm. Nah, it's not no. happening. I already answered that question the last time, mm. so they don't want the equality. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, man, it's a fact. It's just trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's just trash. She ain't marching stuff. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> is Anna supposed to get cold out? No, nope. I wasn't doing nah. it in the summertime. I damn sure ain't doing it in October. Nah. No. It's, it's it's wild crazy to me that a, a woman could plan to go out for the night and and could say i'm not gonna bring any money yeah and have a, a smashing good time yeah you know what's funny <clears throat> back when barry's was open is this, shout, is shout out to barry's shout out to barry's all the shouts outs to barry's <laughs> we used to be so excited because we would leave uri and we would say we can leave home or leave our dorm with ten dollars yeah Get drunk and come back with six dollars. Come back with change, <laughs> right? It's come back with six dollars. Come back, come back right? And that's that's on a bad night, like <laughs> because the drinks at Barry's were two dollars. Oh, that's true. And if you, if we got there early enough, it was free for mm. ladies. So we mm. just twist it. Man, we that's... weren't even the type to like you know get drinks from guys. And no. shit. If we were that type, shh, we go come back with twenty. I would I would do that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if I could look. Yeah. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Could you 
imagine going out and, and doubling your money, Bim? And you would go to the casino? To spend money. There are plenty of ways women... They can. Quadruple their money. Men, we cannot do that. that. Men cannot no. do that. No. No. I mean, and like dummies. Just like, okay. All right. <laughs> hey, hey, waitress, get another <laughs> bottle. Just to show off. Yeah. She don't care. She's going to leave at the end of the night anyways and disappear. Not I seen the meme that was like, um, fellas, if you want to impress a girl, don't send a drink. Send a basket of wings to her table. Ooh. Right? That's, so, that's life hack, it. fellas. Yeah. You really, really feeling that chick? Oof. I promise you, don't send that Henny and, and Cranberry. Send, send, send six wings. Asian chili. Come well on. done. <laughs> well, I feel like we got the formula right here. Huh? That's, yeah. I'm giving you real it's game ten, right here. A 10 piece basket, right? At least six. If you do 12, she might marry you. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you send it with ranch and blue cheese so she can have her option. Come on now. Bruh. Wow. And if that, you add fries? No, that's it. If you add fries, if, before she even take a bite, she got to come over and acknowledge you. She has to. She has to. She fries, has my to. G? You add fries? You no. can grab her booty right there. <laughs> to be a woman. <laughs> With permission. Um, but one thing did happen in Vegas. Did it stay in Vegas? No, I'm bringing it here now. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, reg- I'm a regular out there. I don't care about that, what happened in Vegas bullshit. Um, yo, somebody out the crew got arrested. Out of your no. group? Out of the group of people we were with. Oh, no. Yeah. Is this the part we play who, who, did guess, it? who <laughs> guess who got arrested? I feel like I, I should make you guys guess, but I won't make you guess. Uh, now it's my cousin's boy. Oh, I so, oh, we don't know him. Yeah, so we all went out. That's the only reason, reason why I'm sharing. If it was one of the core, nah, I'll tell you off the mic. So he came. I met him in, uh, in Baltimore once. So uh, we all at the club. First night when we were at the Palms. He's fucked up. Already, we're all downstairs in the casino. We chopping it up. We're like, all right, we're gonna leave. It's like four in the morning. Mm. And my cousin, like, nah, nah, let's do something else. I'm like, I'm tired. I just flew in, came straight here. Four in the morning there is like seven here. Facts, mm. facts. Good job. <laughs> I had it in my fingers. You saw that, right? I saw it. I seen it. <laughs> so, um, I go back to the hotel. I pass out. Next morning, I get a text from Shenny. It's an image from the Las Vegas Police Department, whatever, mm. with homeboy name and shit. But we call him, mm-hmm. we call him D. So I was like, uh, hey, is this cuz homie or what? No answer. I called Shani's phone, he didn't pick up. Oh, called my cousin's phone, he didn't pick up. I'm like, yo, what's going on? So It's just like Darren getting arrested all over again. <laughs> <laughs> but Darren's wasn't this egregious. Is that the word, egregious? That's a good word. You be coming up with the words, bro. African T.I., you said? <laughs> <laughs> so on the thing, when I looked at the image uh, Shani sent, I saw a DUI, mm. uh, like refusing a breathalyzer. Mm. And unauthorized parking or some shit like that. Mm. And this was on a Saturday. So he was there till Monday. We were able to get him out. Oh. His uh, his lady sent the money to the bail, and we went to the bail bondsman, which took hours. Uh, so Sunday, we were dealing with all this still. And um, my cousin was telling me, he's like, yo, he about to do some time. I was like, why? He said, uh, well, he already had a DUI. He's on probation, so he ain't supposed to be in Vegas. <laughs> Oh, no. And he had court in a few weeks for some other shit unrelated to his DUI. <laughs> no. Yeah, so I th- I didn't even feel bad for him. I was like, hey, man, so where are we getting food from? <laughs> yeah. Wow. He was that guy. Yeah, and when he got out, he's like, hey, right, where are we going tonight? I said, oh. Because he knows his time out. Yeah, clearly, yeah, he's, yeah, about, clearly, he's about his life. <laughs> yeah, clearly this show, yo, My shit. My God. Yeah, but yeah, somebody saw, was behind bars in Vegas. All I hear was 24 hours to live in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Just think, <laughs> what would you do? Who would you do? <laughs> he's like, fuck it, though. Yeah. Yeah, but as long as it ain't, you know, the immediate crew, it's high. You do your time and go back and whatever the fuck, <clears throat> live your life. But yeah, somebody got locked up. Could you imagine having to call your lady and tell her, like, I... I'm in jail. I need you to send money. She's first of all, it's gonna be all the stuff that you don't want to hear. First of all, why the fuck you in Vegas? Second yes. of all, what the fuck was you doing at four in the morning? Yeah. Why wasn't you in your room? You told me you was going mm-hmm. to bed at two o'clock yeah. when I texted you. Yeah. You was like, you can't answer, yeah. and you said you was going to bed. Meanwhile, you're on the payphone. <laughs> Look, I, yeah. I only have like no, five no, minutes. No, no, yeah. I, I got questions because okay, I find I mean, it funny yeah. how I mean, you <laughs> told me. But remember when I said how I might? I don't give remember? a f- no. You didn't say might, nigga. You oh. said you was going to bed. I know, but. I, you know what? Yeah. But they said you that know they... what? Your mama know what? That's what the fuck. I mean, I'm gonna send this money just so they can bail yeah. you out. You can you know bring your ass like right? a beach. And I'm gonna call your mom. Like, <laughs> yeah, no. I'm that's... putting this shit on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> putting this shit on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. That's rough. I gotta check up on me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, that was my weekend, man. I came right back to work. Jen, how was your weekend? Uh I went to Mezzo. 
That's what I did. Oh, what was going on that night? They had Select the Bomb Bomb, DJ Juice, <gasps> Chubby Chubby. Oh, how was that? That's right. It, w- it looked like it was a, a good Uh-oh. time. Like, I, I saw a lot of good things about it. <clears throat> it was straight. Mm. I went. Um, it was Tat's birthday. Happy birthday, Tat. Hey, and- Tat. Oh, yeah, shit. Tat. That birthday. <laughs> I had to think about it. Don't do that. Talk on the mic, man. <laughs> so anyway. Jen backed all the way up from the mic. <laughs> it said, don't do that. Like, we wouldn't hear. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, and I have been harassing Select the Bomb Bomb on social media for the last pff, probably 10 years. Give or take. <laughs> Give or take. Um, asking for his GOAT triple mix CD that he came out with back in the back in the back in the day. It was like 2006? It says five? 2004 on the case, but I don't know if that's when it re-came out. Yeah. But it was definitely a long time ago. I remember I got mine from Skippy White's. Um, Rest in peace, Skippy Whites. Oh, the place. I thought you meant the guy. No, the place. Is that his real name? I don't know what his <laughs> name was. <laughs> How do you get a name like Skippy Whites? Like, if, How do that's, you not? The, if that's his nickname. His name was, I mean, he was white. So maybe that was his name. He wasn't white. And I, this is off topic, but I used to not like going there. I probably only went there like three times because this is back in the days when I used to wear like color contacts. Okay, I forgot you did that. Oh uh, <clears throat> yeah, you right, did. right, 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 right. But they were brown. I mean, but the thing is, people would compliment my eyes all the time, and I would immediately say thank you. Their contacts, like, you know, I never would take credit like that was my eye color. God bless. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't get nothing stupid like blue. They were brown or whatever. Mm. So I'd go there, and when I say he would like stare into my eyes, like first of all, he's a white man. We already know what you know how going. that goes. We know what it's going. Hey. And then the eyes, and so I used to get uncomfortable because I get really embarrassed really easily. I don't like compliments, so I didn't go there often. But anyway, so I went there this one time. I seen the album, and I was like, "Yo, I need this." I bought it. I loved it. As we discussed last week, some people, including Bim, yeah, stole the three CDs out of it. Blah blah blah. Hold on, I didn't steal it. I burnt it. Did it? You borrowed it, and I don't know who ended up with it in the end. End, but I never got them back. Let anyway. me check my house. All right, keep going. I don't need it now <laughs> because Selecta Bomb Bomb was so kind to bring me a fresh copy. That's crazy that he still had a copy I'm to give out. I'm so excited. I've been listening to it since dope. then. So I, I finally got to disc three today as I was on my way to your house. And I forgot disc three was the one with the R&B mixed in. So it's really amazing. Disc two was always my favorite because it had the, the reggae mix with the dip set. That di- I got to re-listen to that. Yo, let me hold it. No, nigga. <laughs> No, nigga. <laughs> ten, ten years later. <laughs> but it was worth the $20 to, to get in for me to get that CD. So everything was all good for me. But I don't want to speak on this. Okay, was it the music or the vibe? No, the music was straight. It's the vibe. The place was straight. The vibe was straight. Everything was good. We had a, we had a fun time. So what the problem is? I didn't say the word problem. You said problem. There was just something that's <laughs> on my heart that's heavy. Well, let it out. This is It's just us. It's not just us. People can hear us and I don't... Come on. Not because I'm going to say too much. You got to let it go. <laughs> so let go and let go. There's Word. not too many places where I go where I feel young. <clears throat> so clearly, you know, these are legendary DJs. DJs from back in the day. So therefore, a lot of their fans are older, older people. Right, right. And in the wise words of somebody who said it to me at one point, bitches love blends. <laughs> so these, <laughs> I never heard that. <laughs> But it's true though. Right. Okay. <laughs> bitches love blends. Guys sometimes are like, eh. Bitches be like, oh yeah. You have a point because usually when I hear blend, I'm like, meh. Right. Guys feel that way. I've, I've heard that plenty of times. But women be like, oh yup, mix that random shit with that other random shit. Mm. We like that. We mm. like all that chaos in our brain. I didn't know that. Huh. Yeah. It makes sense when you say chaos. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Say say more. No. Say less. <laughs> no, say less. Say less, beloved. <laughs> so it was all I'm like I've gotten the, <clears throat> to the parking lot and I sat there for a few minutes before I actually got out and I'm like, look at all these old bitches mm. going in the club. No offense to anybody who went. You know, and is an old bitch. Is old. <laughs> if you happen to have, have been an old bitch who was in the parking lot, I don't mean you, you. <laughs> <laughs> so old bitches like. Oh, no. not me, me. <laughs> not no, me, me. No. <laughs> old bitches don't think they're old, so they're all sitting there like, she ain't talking about me. So it's, That's a fact. It's cool. And in the background here, Grandma. <laughs> right. You got some mac and cheese. So I'm, a, I'm cool with older women. I'm an older woman mm-hmm. in, the, in the club scene world. Mm-hmm. But, like, ladies, ladies, stop trying to dress like. That's what I was going to ask. 
<gasps> Keep going, because it's better coming from a woman, because me and Darren say we hate women, you know? Mm-hmm. Nah, it's better coming from you. If I come, if I say I'm being a hater, I wouldn't oh, know. you just I mad because you don't yeah. have the confidence to wear what they wear. They, they're confident and they're beautiful. They don't know your whole butt be out. You're mad confident. Get on them hoes. First of all. What? First, <laughs> first the fuck of all. What? <laughs> my butt is not out intentionally. Still listen. It is just my crack. And right. I've, I've kept it covered. It's why I wear cardigans now. And joggers. So... <laughs> why you looking at Darren like Because that? Darren looked like he got something to fuck say. <laughs> so... I want you to say whatever's on your hateful heart because I'm full of hate. Ooh. Like I'm I there's a, a bunch of things that I've seen over the past couple of days that's like about the the older women, right? Not so much that, oh. but I'm I'm with you. Like I love the direction of this podcast right now. Go ahead, guys. I'm kind of nervous about it, but no, don't be. No, no. Call it out. I mean, if you feel like Old bitch in the corner over there is wearing something that she don't need. But they to don't be, be in the corner though. They be in oh, the middle the of front. everything. Yeah. Front Listen, yeah. I get that you feel confident, and I'm happy that you do feel that confident to wear that. Preach. But understand that there are things you should not wear. Let him know. He's so, not for you. Let him say. Let him say. Let him say. Question. Let him say. Let him say. Ask a question. I have a question. Ask a question. We gonna stop this flow. How do we determine what's not for you? Like, uh, okay, because we are, we're inside it's an opinion, hmm. so we can say, hey. Hmm. You wearing poom poom shorts and your cellulite and your thigh radius and all that shit says you shouldn't, right? So it's okay to say it's not shaming anything. It's yeah. like you look crazy. Yes, that's okay to say. Yeah. Jen, I'm looking so at you. My, my thing is they all got friends, right? What and about not, your friends? And me and my friends, and I'm sure a lot of you ladies with your female friends, you all have a pact. Like you go out, you see some crazy shit, and first thing you do is turn to your girl, be like, "Yo, if I look like that, would you tell me?" Women lie to each other though. I know, I know, but you asked and they say yes. Mm. So y'all all in the group and everybody looked at each other and was like, Yes, bitch. Yeah, that's so not that your real friend. I mean if that's if that how it goes. Because I'm not that confident. Now. I'll tell you that shit right now. <laughs> I am not confident. I'm very insecure. So you're not gonna catch me in a belly shirt. I feel like that type of confidence comes with age and experience. I, like, at a certain point, you're like, fuck it. I done bag mad yeah. niggas in this body. It doesn't matter. I'm doing it for me and not doing it for anybody I else. Which is a lie. Which is a lie because yeah. you're, looking, you don't for, for, you're looking for somebody to notice. Because you don't need to wear little ass dresses all the time. And then with these little shoes where you can't walk. So why are they worn? It's for the intention. I don't intention. know what it's for. Because to me, these are beautiful women. They're not unattractive women. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. That popcorn got you, huh? Get in there, yeah. That's that's the Lord telling you, hey, hold up, hold up. I made her, I made her just like that, and she looks good, baby. Yeah, wait, what I'm saying is they're they're not unattractive women. Mm-hmm. They're wearing unattractive outfits. Ah, I love that. And it's making me I love sad that. because I love I, that. Cause I'm looking at them I'm like, yo, even if you just had on jeans and a nice shirt, you would look popping. Yeah, I love how can you say the last thing you say. You're not an you're unattractive. not unattractive. You're wearing an unattractive outfit. I write that yes. down. Keep on. Yeah, you write that down. Put on a shirt. Put it on a shirt. Oh, oh, shit, nigga. And then send her a basket of wings. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, boo. Facts. We'll, we'll find a single man to do that. Um, but I, I can appreciate your point, Jen. Thank you, Darren. If, if you're not... If it's you not have being a, skinny or fat. It's just it's just unflattering. You're wearing unflattering things. Yeah. You could, skinny bitches wear unflattering shit, too. Yes. Facts. Yes. The super facts. Yes. And I, I, not once did I hear you say, like... Um, like there's a part of your body that you shouldn't be showing off or anything no. like that. Like, there's there's ways to show off your boobs, your ass, and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And it not look... I'm cool with being sexy. I love sexy. Hmm. Sexy is great. Claire Huxable is sexy, and Claire she never Huxable. showed anything. Never. Except for her, her two. Do you think that women do that, feel like they can, because they continue to bag? You know what? When I, when I hear that, and any guy knows, and women should know, it Niggas doesn't... Will fuck anything. <laughs> Thank you. I said it for you. Sorry. Like, like women can go to Walmart. I feel like Bib always has like a, a, a way of bringing a point and then Jen like ruins it. <laughs> and, he's like, and he just goes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was spot on because yeah. dudes like, I seen dudes hollering at chicks in like Walmart and bathrobes yeah. and shit. Yeah. They, don't no. they don't care. No. They don't care. They don't care. If you if you I feel like if, when you find a guy who don't care how you look, then expect a certain level of treatment from said guy, right? And the environment and yeah. like and, and whatnot. So it's it's like you don't have to 
have your stuff up, but then they'll say that it's not for that purpose. Mm. Maybe it's to show the other bitches that you look fly. Whatever the reason well, is. You look crazy, though. Yeah. You look crazy. I mean, if that's your thing, that's your thing. What, looking crazy? Is that that? That's right, a is thing? that a thing? It could be. I guess. I wear what I want to wear, and that's it. Like. I hate it. I hate that. I wear what I want to wear, and that's it. Even yeah, I hate you don't that. pay my bills. Don't worry about what I be wearing. Oh God, mm. yeah. Damn, okay. Darren. I was. It's... You've been cussed out a few <laughs> times, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Darren out here DJ some. DJ you know why? Because I don't. Because I don't. I don't hide my face very well. So when I see something and I'm like, mm. <laughs> I you could literally hear my mind say, mm. like then Darren's I. Darren's out here DJing these middle aged birthday parties. Judging motherfuckers, yeah. mad judging yeah. going on. The one, the party I was just at. Oh, oh really? Oh, no, you there was. He can say it. Uh, there you was, didn't see um, anything. In the no, yeah. it, no. Oh, right. That's cool. Exactly. It well, was, do I say it? Nah. Say no. It. Say it. I mean, I'm. I don't know what you're about to say, but say it. I, I know it has you're about something to, say. to do with the demographic. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, you said mm-hmm. that. Is that is that true, Jen? Can you attest? I don't know. Have you seen at, oh. where where you were? What was the demographic? I mean, it was black women. But but. <clears throat> That demographic feel like, in that environment does the same thing. I feel like young... Uh, actually, you know what? There were older white women there, too, and they looked just as crazy. Yeah. It was more like makeup and bleach hair. Yeah, mm. so it's the um, it's the the environment, right? So anything dancehall, reggae-related, there's going to be a look. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a look, no matter what the age is. And we've seen it. We've all Honestly, seen it. Honestly, I feel like with white women, younger girls tend to be more tacky. Sometimes. Facts. True. Yeah. They, they they run around with these like little shorts on. I'm like, why is your cheeks out? Yeah, yeah. you've seen that, right? Even yeah. in the gym, like really? um, I don't go there. So tell me about it. <laughs> so like, tell us about this magical place, Bim. <laughs> you said who's uh, a fellow named Jim? <laughs> <laughs> no, like um, I, I was in the gym one time on the stair m- machine or whatever they call that thing. We just walking upstairs. Yeah. Um, chick Which had is useless, right? that sounds like torturous. But go ahead. Yeah, she wasn't running; she was walking. But yeah. she had shorts that cut. cut. To where the the butt Man. where where curves we, where we curves. Call it, but yeah. a curve at yeah. the butt yeah. mm-hmm. is out. Right, I've been seeing that like everywhere. That's too much. Like no? you're just walking around in the streets with that. I'm like, how did you first of all find a pair of shorts that does that? Yeah, because they're not like big women. Right, they're petite, mm-hmm. small framed women. Somehow their butt cheek can't be handled by their shorts though. <laughs> and the thing is, like, <laughs> don't look at me like you that. know what the reaction is. All right, so. Women have a thing now, which I I like it because you kind of see the other side. Well, they'll say, man, in, is the equivalent is like a man in gray sweatpants. Uh-huh. Right? Which is gross as well. Yeah. Right. And the beards thing, also gross. The what? Why is beards gross? Beards. No, beards are fine. Oh. The, the thirst to beards is gross. Like, women oh. being thirsty. Really? Gotcha. Women being gross. Women are being gross nowadays. The, the gray sweatpants things, that's gross. Like, but calm down. I'll tell you, when you're yeah, out and I was wearing gray sweatpants... I know. Sometimes the eyes go down there. So imagine if a guy <laughs> intentionally That's gross. Imagine if a guy intentionally wore gray sweatpants that were super tight, a size smaller, so they were tight, so that the package was showing. There's on guys purpose. who do that. Yo, don't be a thought, niggas. What's wrong with y'all? Ew. There's guys who do that. Don't be nasty, yo. But like, wh- why do that? You know what's going on. It's not. Nah, I just like how they fit. No, nigga, you like people looking at your shit. You like, like the attention. Yeah, like what are we doing? Hmm. What are we doing? Jenny, right? Yeah, you know I can't really deal with kernels. Oh, okay. You can't deal with right, okay. I mean, They defeat makes, me every time. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you win again, Colonel. What were we talking about? Were you shitting on people? Was that what you know? No, I was talking about my weekend. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we got here. But overall, it was a good night. You just didn't like the outfits? It was a great night. I mean, the outfits were all right, but I just, you know, I'm just saying. They made me feel young. That's a good thing. Because you were old thought. Basically, <laughs> I came there for an old dot night. I wanted to be an old dot amongst my fellow old dots, which I was. <clears throat> but you were just a senior thought. There was just no men there. there was no s- men? There were very few because it was just all these old dots. That's what I'm saying. Hate, Bitches I, love blends. I hate when I'm DJing a party. And uh-huh. it's complete women and like four, jo- four so, guys. Why would you hate that? I don't know because I feel like I don't. Wait, never mind. No, 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 no. No, I, it's, it's, it's like. I, I want to see the interaction between ah, everybody, not just a right. circle of women dancing. Yeah, right. yeah, I do love seeing women get in their bag when they partying, but it, it does help the dynamic when the, there are guys in the mix. <clears throat> yeah, definitely, because otherwise you're just dancing with your friends, yeah. and you all got that same stupid outfit on. But ain't that what you women say you want anyways in the club, just to dance with your friends? Um, That's general as fuck. Answer. It happens. I, that's, that's, that's very general. 
hey, you want to dance, girl? No, no, I'm thinking I'm going to dance I, with my friend over here. Um, well, twerk, I don't twerk, dance twerk. with guys when they ask me for a number of reasons. Would you like to hear them? Let's go. Because they wearing gray sweatpants? Do it. <coughs> nah, nigga wearing sweatpants to the club. <laughs> That's the wrong club You're, you're clearly in. a pedophile. Or oh, whoa. <laughs> Like you have no good intentions. You come to the club and get pants. That's so a fact. You can't be trusted. You about to be me too and bitches. This is rubbing yeah. up on them. Right. Oh, that's You nasty. want to dance, have your shit. First of all, no, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not say, go ahead. Oh, hey, I'm, I forgot I, I have my phone up there. Stop texting me. Yeah, um, keep your un- inappropriate stuff off the screen. Everything's appropriate in my life. Lies. Um, Sorry, people. We're eating pop- delicious popcorn that Jen broke. Bro, this ain't um Gen Snacks, but we just eat. We, we just these are fat snacks. Yeah, fat fat snacks. Fat <laughs> snacks. When you wanna be fat like an old thought in a bitch. Fat wow. snacks. Fat snacks. Oh, I meant to say fat bitch in a club. <laughs> you said fat bitch in a bitch. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Well, this um, is giving a green light. Reasons why I don't dance with people. Say. Oh yes, yes. One, I'm very shy. Fuck you. It's true. I'm tired of people telling me I'm not. But you don't got to approach nobody. I don't. But even still, you approaching me makes me feel... I just told you about the guy that's going to be white. It makes me feel some type of way. I get nervous. It makes me cringe. So at I, your age, still. At, at, my, at my age. <laughs> at this age. That's number one. Number two, a lot of these niggas are ugly. Whoa. Let's just put it out there. I am offended. Well, you're not ugly. I mean, I wouldn't dance with you because you're bim. But Thank you're not, you. You're not ugly, though. Oh, thanks. Ooh. So a lot of these things are ugly, and they, <laughs> and, they, are ugly. <laughs> and it's I to be ugly, but it's <laughs> it's not a I to be ugly, but conceited. Like get the fuck out of my face. If they ugly, what else they got? They have to be confident. No, not with me, motherfucker. That's foul. Don't get dumb with me. Hold your head high, my ugly brother. Don't let this woman discourage you. <laughs> <laughs> like being mad aggressive and ugly. Like at least ask politely. Would you like to dance? <laughs> You can't be aggressive and ugly. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't be rude and ugly. <laughs> like, excuse me, would you like to dance? No? Okay, well, thank you anyway. And walk the fuck away. I might consider it for later on. Yo. When I hear a song I really like, and I'll be like, damn, I wish I had somebody to dance with. Oh, that nigga asked me. I know he's down to dance. <laughs> what, what? So, do attractive men that you find attractive, do they have the ability to be aggressive? I mean... Maybe so ugly. you're saying, do they get a pass for being aggressive if they're cute? Is yeah, that what you're asking? Yeah. Nah, but uh, attractive guys are not c- aggressive because they know they're cute. It's they don't like, have to be. This is interesting. It's like ugly guys be trying to overcompensate. It's like you ain't got to do all that, though. You, you could just stand you could just ask say, like everyone else does. Right. Excuse me. But don't, don't walk by me and just keep this rubbing up on my booty so and shit. Let the fuck out of here. And you're going to grab my arm and shit, try to pull me. Like, first of all, I am not a piece of meat. I am a woman. I'm a right. God-fearing woman. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm, too far? All right. So what what advice do you give the ugly guy who's just trying to get a dance? She about to shovel some bullshit right now. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> she can't even See, can't even muster it up. Because I don't want to say nothing that sounds some type of way. <clears throat> sounds some type of way, man. Nah, I think this is all like Because I ain't even that cute. But oh my God. all I'm saying is ugly niggas, just know 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 your position. You know you're ugly. That's why you're being mad aggressive. So don't go for the baddest bitch in the club trying to pull on her. Go doing for somebody the most. ugly like you. No, yeah, she got to be ugly. She, she ain't helping. She can still be cute. Ugly niggas. But she can still be cute. But my, like, fe- my fellow ugly niggas, I got you. Be nice about it. You, you and on. nation. I got you. <laughs> you and nation. <laughs> That's Darren right here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, fellas, if you feel like you may be, um, what's that thing called? Something challenged. What is it? Face Phys- challenge, physically challenged, cosmetic attractive challenge, nicks. attractive listeners travel Ch- challenge, challenge. This is all, right, all of that. I love this. This is, <laughs> this is, this what is why I was do. excited for Thursday. My fellow unso, not so Friday attractive brothers, if you're in the club and there's a group of women, say like three or more, right? Oh, this is scientific. No, this this is what you do. You go over to the woman in the group that you feel is on your attractiveness level. Right? Yep. The one who might not be dancing well or the one who looks a little shy. You go up to her and you, in your smoothest way, smoothest possible way, practice it in the mirror. Get your face. In, in the mirror because. In the mirror. Practice it in the mirror so you know what you look like when they're looking at you and why they say no. So Physics. It. <laughs> so. Damn, we already scored. Hey, pay attention. Ain't no. Who ca- Yo, shout to Colin Kaepernick, man. You know what I'm saying? You keep doing what you do, brother. Anyway. <laughs> yo. 
Yeah, man. <laughs> Anyways, you for should, those who don't know, we really shut this off. For those who don't know, we're recording on a Thursday, and Jen's hoe ass put the damn game on. <laughs> the Colts and the Patriots are playing. I don't give a fuck about football mm -hmm. because I care about black people. Right. Anyways, so that's why your quarterback just got sacked. He ain't black. Anyways. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Anyways, and he's not an ugly nigga. It worked. <laughs> so go up to the um to the woman in the group that might be looking a little shy and timid or whatnot, and ask her in a smooth way, the smoothest way you can, would you like to dance, or just gently have her come to the dance floor with you. Mm -mm. What you mean? It's not gonna work. I'm ugly. I've done this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm no, no, Darren, break it down. Tell me why it might oh. there may be some hurdles. Jen, mm, sorry. <laughs> I'm about to break you everything. Should. You <laughs> should. Um. Okay. Wait. The reason why I don't think it's going to work uh -huh. is because <clears throat> there's no interaction. You know, like the ug ugly guy goes up to the girl and he's like, yeah, and she's like, oh, no. He got to say you. something, though. He's got it. So yeah. he's got to have the charm and the smoothness. Right. Because I've heard on many occasions that dude was ugly, but he had good game. Got to have the charm. He, he had yeah. charm. That's why you got to practice your face in the mirror, ugly man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Not you, though. <laughs> Not you, the other dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like there's you got to create the opportunity to show the charm before you get the dance. So maybe work on the bar. Like if you see homegirl at the bar, hey, you know, start up a quick conversation. No. I haven't done this. No, I haven't done this. Darren, no. Every time I do this, you do Darren's this. No conversation. Bad. Yeah, no conversation. No conversation. Jen, if somebody goes up to you in the club and tries to spark a conversation, I don't like conversation with anybody. <clears throat> really? In Jen, I hate small I talk. I hate chit chat. Maybe in a lounge setting, but in a club. I maybe. used to hate. Oh, like, you know, yeah. I used to hate when I'd be at work in a retail establishment where people are supposed to talk to you, and it'd be like eleven in the morning. Somebody come in and try to chit chat. You know how mad that used to make me. What the fuck are you chit chatting for? You buying sneakers <laughs> or not, my nigga? What the fuck? Oh, so uh, where are you from? Does it fucking matter? I am at work, sir. You I used to pray for days where I could just be mean to somebody. No, I'm not mean. I, I would I would You wouldn't say that. I would but imagine have the there was a day but I hated it. Imagine there was a day that they said, Hey, say whatever you want, be as rude as you want, you will not get fired. But here's 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 the thing I'd about be mean me. As shit. <laughs> here's the thing about me. I don't like being rude. So it just happens. <laughs> that, that look was like you better stop. Right? You bitch you. <laughs> 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 Wait, first of all, I mean, I don't know. I I don't club really. I don't be out there like that. It's been a long time since I've attempted to pick. Even when I was able to pick up a woman, I still didn't pick up a woman. So um, I don't really know how it goes because women why control. Are you giving advice? I that's right. That's right. why I'm stopping because women women control the whole man woman interaction in the club, right? Mm -hmm. Unless you're or dude that's super attractive to women or can dance. That's the only time they're gonna look at you. Outside of that, you have to do things in a way that gets their attention. So what I'm saying is, the ugly dudes, you ain't gotta do too much. You can, you don't even have to go for the homely girl in the group. You can go for any girl in the group, but don't be aggressive about it. Like women ain't trying to right. deal with no aggressive ass. Don't be eat aggressive. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get mad because that's hilarious. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> no, do not be aggressive. You know, just be regular. Be courteous. Be kind. Be, and if somebody says no, thank you, then motherfucker, no, thank you. Ugly fellas, hold on. I got some. <laughs> yeah, ugly niggas can't be old telling me. I feel like all the ugly guys are like, <laughs> now they're all this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why wow. it's not working. <laughs> wow. So one tip I give my uh, fellow ugly brethren, and we'll move on. I did this one time, and it worked. When you're at the bar, getting your drinks, if you see a young lady that's attractive, she ain't get her drink yet, and the bar t uh, tend to come to you first, you order your shit, and you say whatever she's getting is on me, right? Hang out until you get your drink and she gets her shit. When she tries to hand the money, bartender's going to say no, blah, 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 and he point in your direction. And then you, go, you simply raise your raise glass. Your glass and Cheers. then walk, walk the away. fuck away. Yeah, she's going to come looking for you. Walk away and let it happen. Is she? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Darren, Every fucking time. Darren, when I tell you the eyes were on me, and not even just her, because she's going to tell her girls on you, then you just play it cool. Yeah. 
Because women cool. love a cool dude. Girls don't like guys who seem you're, you're desperate. Correct. You are correct. So yes. if you look like you're not interested, which is unfortunate, <clears throat> but yeah. if you, if you look like you're not desperate and thirsty, she'll be more more likely to warm up to you. It's all weird. a game, which is a dumb shit. I hate it's shit. It's so annoying. But it's a game. It's, it's all a game. But back to reasons why I would tell somebody no the dancing. For yes. one, <clears throat> shy. Two, I don't like aggressive ass people. And three, sometimes maybe I don't like this song. True. And four, I'm old. I only have this much energy that I can spend in the time I'm in the club. I'm probably tired. I had a long week at work. So if I say no, it's probably because I'm fucking tired, bruh. Don't be mad that I'm tired. Let me live. Send her wings. Send me wings. It'll give me energy, <laughs> nigga. It'll and lift send me you Red higher. Bull. <laughs> yes, it'll lift me. Give me Red Bull for them metaphorical wings. Give me chicken for them real wings. Once I get my energy up in about an hour, come back at me. Yeah, hey, you gonna have a great night, beloved. I'm gonna be bent right the fuck over. <laughs> Whoa! Wasn't expecting that. that, that <laughs> no, I, I probably that's, won't get back up. That's the key. <laughs> but Yo, I'm, Fifty folks was posting some funny ass shit about <clears throat> some chick who couldn't arch her back properly, and the dude was getting mad because and some bitch called her uh, uh, what? Um, shit, it was funny. Aw, I'm mad. I can't. Remember. I saw the video, but I couldn't listen to because I was at work. But Hilarious. Cameron had posted it first. Oh, it was, it. it was Cam. Yeah, it was yeah. Cam. And uh, yeah, she, her back, back was just super arched. Cat back. She said, you old cat back. <laughs> 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 because when you arch your back, there shouldn't be like let's, a... Let's hear about this. Like a... a hump. Gen, yeah, like there shouldn't a, like be a, a hump like a in your back. You're supposed to put your head down and let and your booty the, rise. Whoop, yeah. Your back comes low. It should be yeah. like a slope going down to your head. It shouldn't be a hump. Then your butt, you know what I'm saying? So put a hump in your back and shake your rump. <laughs> <laughs> How we get here? Oh, you said you were going to bend, bend over. Well, I don't want to talk bend about over, that. Bend over, bend over, bend over. Another aggressive person. Do you guys know anything about this Kavanaugh shit? Because I know nothing. Jenny no, I know news. very I know little. Nothing. I've kind of been watching it, but not really. But well, I watched a Saturday Night Live. That I was can hilarious. Do the Googles really quick to get us. Did they uh, make somebody. fun of it? Yes, they did. That that whole episode was amazing. First of all, the thing that really got me even a little curious about this is the brilliant person on the internet yes. who put that with the Samuel Sam L. Jackson yeah. from Pulp Fiction. That might be the best thing I've seen on the internet. Because his name best. was Brett. Yes. It was yes. everything. It worked so well. Yo, the Pulp Fiction Samuel L. Jackson scene is literally one of my favorite scenes of movies at all time. So you saw that movie? Yeah, I saw oh, it like, a long time ago. I actually watched it by accident with my mom and my brother when I was a little kid. It was on pay-per-view. That's not who you want to watch it with. <laughs> no, it was pay-per-view on... What was Cox before it was Cox? Dimension? Dimension Cable. Wow. Yeah, I think it was on Dimension Cable with the brown box. Yes, ma'am. And um, me, I don't know why. Me and my brother wanted to watch it. And she was like, okay. So she ordered it on pay-per-view. Because my mom loved us. She used to do nice things for us. Wow. And I fell asleep. But like by the time Bruce Willis came into the movie, I fell asleep. Okay, so you missed like crazy, crazy shit. Yeah, but this part, we you know, with oh, with thing ODN and you know, and I will rain down. And yeah, curious <laughs> vengeance on thee. I actually did that um, monologue in an English class no, in you high didn't. school. No, you didn't. Not not the part with all the cussing. The part where he he quoted the Bible. Did you really? Yeah, in classical. Can I? Can I? I want to hug you, but we're on a podcast, so I'm just gonna extend. Jen, one, I didn't know that about you, and I've known you a long time. That is one of my favorite quotes in the movie. Man, listen. To the point where it was my ringtone. That and is amazing. And I wouldn't pick my phone up because I wanted to hear Sam <laughs> <laughs> all the way through. Wow. Really? Yeah. That's a hell of a uh, thing to monologue, though. Yeah. I like that. I rain down on thee with furious vengeance. Um, shout out to Sam L. Jackson, too. He's in the most movies of any actor, I think. Really? Male actor. He's been really? in a lot of fucking movies. More so- than Morgan? More than Morgan? Yeah. I think you got to be. <laughs> and he's in the uh, highest grossing. <laughs> Sorry. You mean Morgan Morgan? In the, in the highest grossing films, too, because he was like in Star Wars and yeah, he was uh, Avengers, all these. So I, like I know one of grossing. our early co- um, episodes, we talked about this, and I had said it, and you guys weren't sure if I was right about it, but I went back and checked on it, and Coming to America was his first movie. Who? Samuel L. Jackson. Wow. I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. Damn. Yeah. Wow. He look old as shit then, too. <laughs> <laughs> Got his ass beat by the African. <laughs> he, he been old for a while. Rhino- not, he was right. a rhinoceros pizzle back then. Rhinoceros pizzle. You ain't bouncing back from that. <laughs> Good shit. They can call me a rhinoceros pizzle. <laughs> <laughs> a diseased rhinoceros pizzle. <laughs> True. <clears throat> True. <clears throat> Did you do research real quick, Darren? Yeah, so uh, this guy, uh, basically he's been nominated um, to replace retiring Associate Supreme Court Justice... Blah, 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 blah. During the confirmation process, they accused him. Christine 
Ford. Ozzy Ford, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Accused him of having sexually assaulted her Back in the like early 80. in the eighties. Yeah. And since then, over the next when they uh, were digging into it, a couple other women women stepped forward to oh. basically say the same thing that. Speaking oh, I thought of it was 80s, just her. <clears throat> I wasn't sure. It was, and it was playing Lady in Red, and I wanted to come here and say how amazing that song is. It's I was a great, it, it is a great, it's a great song. song. Right? I was in the eye, was just singing my heart. Lady in Red. <laughs> Picking up popcorn <laughs> and shit. Put that shit with me. Cheek to cheek. Is nobody here? There's words uh, to this song, Darren. Yeah, I don't know the words. I never <laughs> Just know. you and uh, me. Of course, he denied all allegations, and I believe we are seeing. Where I want to be. Oh, my God. <laughs> the <laughs> hell he <laughs> <laughs> Um, How many other accusers? You know? There's beauty by my side. Jen, God damn it. <laughs> uh, you two other women uh, came forward. I never will so, forget. So, he got three under his court, on his belt. So... Um, do we know, like, so tonight? <laughs> all right, I got it all out. I got it all out. I'm done. <laughs> she had to finish the verse, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's only right. And the only other thing that got my attention is this because everybody was posting the stuff that Trump said, and I hate talking about the guy, but he kind of had a point with some of it. What do you mean? Uh, as soon as somebody accuses you, you lose everything. Yeah, it's like, um, the accusations. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's automatically... worse than, than if you're guilty or not. Right. Which Almost is, worse. Which is kind of crazy, yeah. but also you don't want to dismiss a victim mm-hmm. or a potential victim or somebody mm-hmm. who alleges something. Just because you're place. found not guilty doesn't mean you didn't do it. Right. So it's, 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 it is kind of crazy now, but I think there's been so many dudes doing slimy shit for years that it's like, hey, something got to stick. Mm-hmm. And I would hope, although I know people who've been accused of doing shit that didn't do shit. Um, I would hope that these women are being honest. Mm. My thing is, I'm. This might sound weird, but I wasn't as much stuck on whether or not he did it to her because, like we said, it was back in like 1980. He was like, you know, in college. Everybody who went to college wasn't a saint in college. You weren't yeah. trying to be in a Supreme Court when you were 21 years old. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's not the part that I was too stuck on. It was more his demeanor during the hearing did you see the hearing i didn't watch it okay but i saw parts of it and how many times are you gonna say you like beer well, everybody drinks beer in high school no the fuck they don't I didn't. yeah there's a different world yeah. Yeah. out there of people who do shit that we don't do right or didn't do in high so, school. so the fact that when you were a teenager and you weren't of drinking age but you felt entitled to be able to drink so when you became of age, you must feel entitled to do other shit. Now you yeah. want to be in Supreme Court and you want to bring your entitled demeanor to making these decisions for the entire country for the rest of your life. Like, I don't find that to be okay. Why did he bring up drinking beer in high school because if this I took guess, place in college? I don't know. I didn't watch the whole thing. It was like four hours. But So he tried to justify. You just kept saying, I like beer. Yeah, I drink beer. I drink beer. I like beer. I, I only like got beer. that from the clip. Do you mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. The Saturday um, Night Live, they, um, Matt Damon played him. Oh, my God. Well, okay, how do you feel? Do you watch Saturday Night Live every week? I do now. Like, ever since Trump became president. Actually, you no, know, before he became president, I was watching it. Because he hosted one episode. That shit was hilarious. Who? Trump? Yeah. Oh, right wow. Before he became president. But Is this when Drake hotline bling and he did all that Drake shit? Drake was hilarious. Huh. Both Drake, times yeah, he was on there. It was pretty funny. Drake was funny as fuck. When fun. Dave was on there, he was pretty funny, too. Yeah, Dave was on there. <clears throat> But Dave was on there after he became president. So I started watching it probably right before he became president again. Um, but I used to watch it before, but not like regularly. Is it funny? Because when I tune in, I'm not, I don't laugh. It is. But it's usually the opening monologue is usually the funniest. And Weekend Update. Okay. Weekend Update. Yeah, with Michael Che. Yeah. No, he's not. He's still on the yeah. show, right? Okay. Him and Colin Jost. Yeah. Actually, this week, Weekend Update had to be probably the funniest one I've ever seen. Really? He was like... You know what my problem with Cosby is? <laughs> I'm already laughing. Here we go. <laughs> he was like, the fact that he had a show called The Cosby Show about a nigga named, well, he didn't say nigga, but I know he was thinking it, about a nigga named Cliff Huxtable. <laughs> and, then it, and then it switches to the other guy, right? <laughs> so then it switches back to him after the other guy says something. He's like, like Seinfeld's about Seinfeld. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he named all these shows and oh. the person named. He's like, like, imagine if Everybody Loves Raymond was about a guy named Cliff Huxtable. Yeah. And he's like, fine, side with the rapist then. And they just, <laughs> <laughs> and they just ended it there. But Jamie Foxx's show, his name on the show is Jamie King. 
just this is true yeah this is true so just to mm. you know yeah. you would which i was watching the other day i love that show that's a good show it was it was a great show so is the white man going to jail or no <laughs> no it wasn't even about him going to jail they just oh. were trying to find ways to get him not to be the voted supreme on for court. the supreme court yeah. so but they, the fbi did their investigation it ended yesterday and so now the senators get to one at a time go into a room and oh. read what they found and they're probably just going to vote on it Monday, and he's probably going to be a supporting party anyway. Wait, the yeah. senators that he would be working with or mm-hmm. whatever? Mm-hmm. Or because have- it's, a, it's a Republican Congress, so they wow. they want him in. The Democrats asked for this, you know. So, pro- I mean, I'm not blaming anybody, and I'm just inquiring. You're blaming. Is this something that came up before he was going to be appointed to Supreme Court? I don't think so. So the I timing know. is always curious. That's, and that's <clears throat> the thing that basically mm-hmm. Trump's trying to get at. Like, this is really, it's convenient. Yeah, because to me, because I'm sure he holds some position of influence currently. I mean, he was a professor at Harvard, and they already said that they're not going to let him teach next year. Like, his class has been canceled. Because of the allegations? Until the allegations are fully investigated. Wow. Even if he's found innocent, nobody's going to want to take that class. I may have said this before. Oh, boy. I know I didn't do shit crazy, I think. But I hope nobody, like, you know, say say we all blossom into doing some crazy, amazing things and do well for ourselves. Somebody's going to come out of the woodworks. Yo, man. It's, it's just off of the Trump point. It's a little nerve-wracking. Even yeah. if you didn't do shit, it's like yeah. driving while black. I'm not doing it. I'm just nervous. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's weird, though. I don't know. But I know I didn't do shit. All right? You didn't ghost nobody. You didn't do shit. <coughs> what else did you not do? I did not inhale. <laughs> I did not. What I'm saying have is, it's all um, relative woman? to a person's I won't um, say point that. of view. And don't the, say the, it. The, but the point is, the Supreme Court is how many people? Like five or seven? I don't even know. It's either five or seven. So these people have a lifelong appointment. So that is true. They do need to be there forever, right? Forever. So if you're gonna get somebody. Out of the 370 million people in this country, What's wrong? you've got to be able to find one person who doesn't have oh. none of this bullshit in their past. They all have bullshit in their past. But there's got to be at least one who don't. No. <laughs> these are people of privilege, right? you got to understand these people. No, no, and, and, I'm that's, not, and that's the problem. And I'm not painting a broad brush, but there's a good chance... Some of these folks got away with a DUI. And that's or, the problem. Right. That's exactly the problem that people are having, that... These people. Don't worry about it. I'll sweep. I can't, I'm Nigerian. You, I can't sweep. You say broom. Sweep. What? Broom de place. You say broom. No, I say sweep. You say broom. No, I say sweep. You tell him what he said. No. <laughs> After he says sweep, right? <laughs> you don't say sweep. You say broom. And he's really arguing with me, too. Yeah. It's like when I told him I was 6'2". <laughs> Jen, <laughs> if I'm... Si- Darren, she's... <laughs> go. Darren, Darren. No, no. Let me go. How are let you me six go. Two? How am I not? <clears throat> oh my god! Um, we, yeah, so all nasty people go away. What are you gonna say? Interestingly enough, um, did you see that thing? Uh, Louis C.K. came back out, did a did a surprise pop up show in mm-hmm. New York. I heard, and everybody was applauding him. Good. So, because people love Louis, I applaud. Okay, so we all know that he was he accused. His privates. Yes, he was accused. Immediately fessed up to it. Immediately apologized. Uh, said he abused his power, blah, 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 blah. Yep. I'm going to disappear, take some time to get connected with my family, la, 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 la. disappear for 10 months, I want to say. And then came back Is out. Is that a motorboat noise? La, 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 la. No. I could do it. No, I won't do it. So, <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, um, so he comes back out and people applaud. And I found it interesting. Now, I, like you, I love Louis C.K., yep. but, you know, he did what he did and he fessed up to it. Yeah. So our people already like, oh, I forgive him. It's great. Continue doing what you were doing. Well, like that applause is that forgiveness? Yeah, there are people who were like, "All right, you showed your dick to people. You apologize." It's not the first dick to be out, right? And it's like if um, people have issues, right? Mm-hmm. But does that mean you are not allowed to make a living, especially if you weren't put in jail? You got to make a living. It's he what was, he does. was he put in jail? No. no. Was he like? No, he wasn't charged. No charges? With nothing. No. He just so, somebody said you did that, and he was like, "I did." No, he definitely did. He pulled his dick out in front of women in a room. And he was See, like, here's the thing. Or I think he's beating off in front of them too. That's gross. All right. He's, yeah, he's a nasty guy. So here's the thing: <laughs> there are people who do things like that and use it in a position of power, and uh-huh. that's when it becomes a problem. Right. So if if you're somebody's boss, 
and you're like, oh, we have this closed door meeting in the conference room. You close the door and you pull your dick out and you start beating off. And then when she says, well, I'm going to report you. And you say, well, if you do that, I'm going to ruin you. That's fine. That's when it becomes a problem. Okay. Right. If you just out here being a little nasty, messy ass dude, then you being nasty, messy ass dude. But yeah. don't don't ruin someone else's life based off of it. I mean, right. sex is sex. Humans are humans. We're still animals at the end of the day, and we, you know, yeah. You know. And if they're comedians, because I think some of the women in the room were comedians or writers, I'm turning that into a bit. Yeah, you know, somehow a little his little red dick or some shit. You know what I mean? Like wow. you turn it into a bit. Wow. And you try to that's look. racist. <laughs> He's redheaded. <laughs> <laughs> He's red. <laughs> um, I, I, mean, I get what you're saying. I just yeah. I found it interesting. I would think with all the uproar publicly about this one did this to me 35 I years ago. For him to come out. Again, I love Louis C.K. Just like I love Aziz Ansari. And there was something about him. But to to hear like, okay, that person comes back out in the public eye and people are applauding. And uh, we're right back on the Louis C.K. train. It's like, ah, like I... Are we dismissing everything that happened? Well, people are allowed to move forward, right? They are. are you allowed to make amends. <clears throat> and I think that was simply, and I'm, take away the word simply. I think that was, he pulled his dick out, but I don't know if the women in the room took it as an offense. Mm-hmm. Like he did something to them. Right. Whereas women like this Ford woman, she's saying it like she took it as an offense, which I don't know because. Once again, they were at a college party. Maybe he did drink a bunch of beers. Maybe she drank a bit. I don't know. Mm. Maybe it wasn't criminal intent. Hmm. Was that a sexual assault that, that she mentioned? or She's like- saying it was a sexual assault, but I don't know exactly what she's claiming happened. Hmm. But at the end of the day, I don't think he should be in a Supreme Court because, once again, he has a terrible temperament. Like, you all here. Like, if I was at a job interview and I'm over here crying. <laughs> and cu- Wait, he cried? Yes. Oh, what a bitch. <laughs> he cried. He yelled. He, really? Yes. See, I didn't know any of this. Imagine that. So as he's pleading his case, yeah. they're he's in crying the, in Congress. and yelling? Yes. And that's he did that saying. shit. And He did that shit. And even if he didn't, like you can't be out here making decisions in the highest court of the land, and that's how you what? act. Oh, thank that's, you. My, that's my beef with it. Whether or not you did it to this woman, I don't know, and I really honestly don't care. Because you guys are both basically kids. Yeah. Like, we know 21-year-olds now. They're stupid. I'm not going to hold you for the rest of your life on something you did when you were 21. But you don't have the proper temperament to be in a Supreme Court. I just don't think so. Mm-hmm. We talk about something else. This is boring. Yeah. Well, can I, can I talk about uh, something I, I hate? I'm a hater. I was, you hate I was, a lot I've been seeing this for a while, and it, it bothers the shit out of me. Sure. Uh, Somebody I follow hate on, on Facebook. Hate hate I, on. I can't even. Uh, I think she might have blocked me. I don't know why. Ooh, yeah. you got blocked. I, I, I don't. Who is I'm it? Look, I want to get I'm blocked. Looking, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking um, for her, uh, her page, and I don't see it no more. But do you guys ever see somebody conducting business on Facebook, but in a very like open way? Okay, like let's say she's a prostitute. No, no. She's a pimp. No. Um, T- if you hire, let's, okay, Jen, you hire me to DJ, right? Let's yep. say you hire me to DJ. Tolu hired me as a DJ. I got those two gigs, and then you see me put up a status that says, "Hey, uh, everybody, if you if you booked me and you haven't paid your deposit yet, you need to pay me soon. Hit me up." That's annoying. As a status, as a status. That's annoying. Okay. Okay. So I've I've seen this and it it irks the shit out of me, but I feel like ah, I'm just being bougie, you know. Like I I feel like if you're a professional, anything. You be behave professionally. If There's, I have a yeah. if I have a, th- a thing with you going on, I'm going to hit you up directly or call you. Right. I'm not going to put Plus up. Plus, you sub. should have a contact. Yes. I mean, a contract. Yes. Right. So yeah. when I see this and I'm thinking, I, I've I've been noticing for a while. I'm like, ah, maybe I'm just bougie because I'm also the same person that's like, if you got your own business, there's no reason why your email should be at yahoo.com. I don't know if I'm if I'm if Yahoo's shoot. gonna pay us one day. Just know we have to get yes, we have to this rescind that section yes. out. Right. Yes, okay. <laughs> Bookmark this. But well, I'm saying like if you like you know if so you basically work you, you want them to all buy their own website to get their own email address at I, their own company name. And I Mr. Under- just right. And I understand that may not be possible for everybody. So that's what your point is. That's how you know you're bougie. bougie. That's how I know I'm bougie. Yes, <laughs> exactly. You right. in, in the business sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I get not all of us are able to do it for a while. And I'm not gonna completely knock it because I was I was doing that for a while. But, but now you damn now it at just right. Exactly. Ah. Yeah. Mr. Just right. 
Pause. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the slogan. <laughs> Pause. So I see this and I, I'm like, ah, it bothers me so much, right? So boom, I see uh, another status a couple hours later. Damn, I need money. If you need this, hit me up as I do this. If you need your shirts made, hit me up because I do that. If you need invites made, hit me up because I do this. Anything I'm trying to make money and make rent. What? Not your rent, boo. Fam, what? What? This is all a status? This is a status. Do I know this person? Uh, you may. So she's an oversharer. He or she? She. And, mm. and she's a habitual line crosser. Habitual. Habitual. Yeah. You got popcorn on your shirt? Habitual. I can still eat it, right? Um, so I would. That's what I'm telling you before I, it falls. I, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a good friend, Jen. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So I, I immediately think, like, damn, Darren, are you being a hater? Or is, like, is this a really a thing? Because like, I, never, I never see anybody else do this. Right. I've only seen this one person. And granted, I'm not trying to knock her nuts. Hustle. She does what she does. People love her. And obviously, they love her because they continue to book her. But again, if you, uh, me, I pride myself on trying to be professional. I'm trying to connect the dots. I'll tell you afterwards. Mm. She, she, I like being messy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, yes, we all like being messy. No, and to me, I don't think you're wait, being wait, bougie. Wait, wait, Jen, can you go back up, please? I don't think you're being bougie. I saw something. I think um, from, in your notifications. from a ahead. successful business person, uh -huh. you want to offer some, Keep some going. tips. Keep going. What's going on? Keep what going. are we doing here? Keep going. What are we doing? Keep going. Come on. Guys. A little bit more. So Darren's distracted. Oh, okay. All right. Right, cool. You I, saw the word meet and you got no, 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 no. I, the, the cash app thing. Oh. The shows that you spent. I thought you got money. I was like, damn, James Ballin. Anyways, you know, sorry. what are we talking about now? We're talking about <laughs> people not being able ah, to be professional as a in a professional setting. Businessman. Mm. I don't think you were hating. You're just seeing it and saying, hey, this is bad for business because you can turn off a lot of potential clients by acting like this exactly. on social media. Exactly. So what exactly happened for her to block you? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just realizing you must have now. Said something. No, I did. I never say anything because I again I feel like hey, if that's your hustle, who am I to put you down in a in a public forum? Right. I feel like if a, I a I could send a message or yeah. something, but I didn't do that. Now I'm just as I was realizing something I wanted to talk about, I'm looking for her page and I'm like, damn, it's not coming up. How you spell her name? Let me check. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, <S> yeah, <laughs> so i don't know it's just something that bothered me yeah no social media like you can make or break your shit like you may get a few gigs here and there depending on what they do but you're not going to get clients that'll pay premium dollar if that's how you conduct yourself on social media because who knows what you'll do with their contract or with their party or with their whatever you know just spreading shit that's not how you do it hmm you know what pissed me off this week? What's that? Um, I was driving. I know we're not all fond of her. I know a lot of people wow. are not fond of her. Wow, wow, wow. I don't like, even know who that is. Yeah? No. Oh, okay. I know I know that person, but... Yeah. Yeah. Touchdown. Jen, what are you going to say? Um, Fuck football. It's it's not a touchdown. Um, it is. Almost. So, I'm driving today, right? First of all, I think we already spoke about the turkey infestation. That's it's not an on. infestation. It's their house. It's, no, it's not their house. What are you well, talking about? Like people that are turkeys or turkey? No, turkey? Hu oh, not human like, turkey. turkey. Turkey turkeys. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Oh, turkey, turkey. Okay. Bird turkeys. Turkey turkey. They're every fucking where. They're at my job. Fine. We work in the woods. But they be off middle of Spring Ave now. Last year I left my house next door in my neighbor's front yard. There was turkeys. That shit. Next to your house? Bruh. That's in, a little wild. They're in the places where they don't belong and it's throwing me off. <laughs> We're messing up their uh, their their environment. No, we're letting them live, oh. and there's too many of them. Oh. Thanksgiving can't come fast enough. Why don't you kill one now? Hell no, I don't kill animals. What the fuck I look like? <laughs> Darren does. I know, he's Haitian. Wow. Whoa, I see. I didn't do that. <laughs> you opened the door. I walked in. <laughs> I've never killed an animal in my life, people. Uh, yeah, you don't look like the type. I get oh, squeamish. Why Anyways, did, why um, did, like, <laughs> so, Jen is engrossed in the TV. This guy is TV. eating engrossed. In, engrossed. And then and this guy, he's just oh, eating anyway, popcorn. So like don't ever give me popcorn. So the turkeys. This, so. You bought this. You bought this. I bought it. Brought it. Brought it? I brought it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you both. <laughs> so I'm driving up Woodward, which goes from Branch Ave to Mineral Spring Ave. If you know Providence and North Providence, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's not in the woods. Yeah. There's more popcorn on your shirt. Yeah. This is a cut-through street. Okay? So I'm driving up. There's a car in front of me. 
And then there's like three or four turkeys in the street, but on the opposite side. Mm -hmm. So the car trying to come down can't come down because the turkeys are in front of the the car. So, well, the car coming down was like a van. So the van's just sitting there waiting for the turkeys to move. Turkeys are turkeys, so they're assholes, so they're not moving. The car in front of me drives slowly just in case the turkeys move fast, obviously. Yep. They get basically next to the turkey. So you've basically passed the turkeys. You can keep going. Yeah. This jackass stops. I don't know where they got breadcrumbs from. No, they didn't feed them. Oh my god! Bruh, they uh... took like three handfuls of breadcrumbs and threw them out the window. But you would think maybe throw them out the window so on, the, sidewalk on the sidewalk yeah, yeah. so that the no. turkeys would get out the way. Yeah. No, this fool van. made it their job to put the breadcrumbs in the street in front of the van. So now that whole side is. Just so now up. the turkeys really ain't moving. I got mad for the van because after they threw the breadcrumbs, they went. I could have kept going. I'm looking at the nigga in the van. They're spazzing the fuck out. Like, what the fuck? Why would you do that? That was the dickest movie I've seen in a long time. So maybe I'm immature, but at my age, I wish that it was like real life Mario Kart. I would have I would have red shelled the shit out of that. Tr- <laughs> Don't you dare feed them turkeys. Bullseye. Already- <laughs> <laughs> bullet, bullet. <laughs> mm. Yo, man, what's wrong with people? People are a whole new breed of stupid. I yeah. like animals more than like humans. Well, they'll kill you. Why Fine. do you have breadcrumbs in your car? Damn. Wow. That wasn't your first thought. No. <laughs> that was mine. I was like, where did they get these crumbs from? Wow. Like, were you eating a bagel and you said, fuck it, I'm going to sacrifice this shit? Imagine they went shopping. No, I feel like they, and they had a fresh, they had that. some Wonder Bread in the yeah. window. Like, oh, look at the turkey. Oh, look at the turkey. Oh, dear, dear Helen, open, <laughs> open the bread. Give me a few. Like, do turkeys even <laughs> like bread? Because the turkeys looked very unimpressed. Like, the turkeys were really bold. Because, like, as the car's trying to go by, they were, like, trying to, like, walk up and peck the car. And I'm like, yo, not only do you not belong here, but you're being real... Turkey dicks right now. Turkey dicks. You're being jive turkeys. Jive turkey. And I don't like it. I'm just trying to get to work. Turkey like dicks. Nah, turkeys suck. And people suck who feed them. So that's why they keep coming around, maybe. Because if they find trash and shit that they can peck at outside the woods, they're going to keep coming out. <laughs> I just look. think they're walking too far and they're not getting killed. <laughs> They killed him, motherfucker. Why kill him? Why would I kill a turkey? Because you said Why they not? need to be killed. I didn't say they need to be killed. I said they're walking too far and they're not getting killed. Also, they're like, I we just gonna keep walking. You don't come to think of it. I don't think I've ever seen like you see roadkill all the time. You don't see like you don't a see dead turkey. turkey. turkey because they, they're huge, though. <laughs> they like, are big. Honestly, I'm looking at them like if I didn't want to hit them with my car because I'm no. like I feel like they're gonna the damage cards, my yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And walk the fuck off. Like they walk up like they're real gangsters. <laughs> Knock on your window, sir, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you thought. <laughs> It's like the 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 pigeons and animaniacs. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. We're the animaniacs. Can I tell you guys about a stu- <laughs> two stupid people encounters I've I heard. Uh, I went to Guitar Center to get these today, right? Okay. And these nuts. Wow. <laughs> On sale for three ninety nine. That's funny. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a picture. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, this guy comes out the back. He's like, Greg. Greg, there's a lady on line two holding for you. And the guy's like, what? Who? And she's like, the lady, she said that you're holding a guitar for her. She wants to know what type of guitar it is. So you can hear everybody go like, what? Huh? So I looked at the guy. He was like, I talked to this lady three times. She asked me to put this on hold for her. But she doesn't know what type of guitar it is. I was like, ah. Maybe it's not for her. He was like, don't defend her. <laughs> <laughs> he told me, Shut up, don't defend her. I was like, all right, you're right. You got that. That was encounter number one. Number two, I was on the phone with this guy yesterday <clears throat> at work. And I was like, hey, I need the computer name of the machine. And it was P-B-R- P-B-I-R-H. <laughs> right? So it's a guy, he's from the South. He was like, okay, P, P as in Paul, B as in boy, I as in Igloo. I. <laughs> eyes and eye, <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, well, "What made me laugh even more was like it sounded like he laughed afterwards, and it sounded like uh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, oh, people are so God. great.'" 
<sighs> I just had to share that. Yeah, what no, people suck. I gotta pee. I'll pee, you know. Wow. You know what I hate? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's talk about things we hate. I'm I with it. So I think they said, why do we say like, oh, as in, like, there's no letter that sounds like, oh, I'm gonna go pee now. Talk. What? Oh, as in Oscar. What is she saying? No Nobody says like, oh, as in. Oh, as in Oscar. Yeah, oh. but there's no letter that sounds like O, so if you just say O, then you're oh, not going to get confused. O sound like O. Right, that's no, it. But there's no you, other letter. You shouldn't have to say O It doesn't sound like P, B, or D. What? O just sounds like I'll O. I'll explain it to him. Go P. Yeah, yeah, help me. What do you mean? Okay, right. So, <laughs> you know how I was like, okay, spell Darren, and I'm like D as in dog, because you can hear either B or P okay. or T, but there's no other letter that sounds similar to O, so oh. you don't need to... Oh. <laughs> I'm over here like, what do you mean? There's other things. There's, 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 there's octopus, <laughs> octagon, astronomy, wait. No, that's O. There's A. Wait. Um, ocular. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's giving all these like college words. Yet <laughs> it's not understanding that there's no other letter. That sounds like, oh, I love I know, it. I know, man. Uh, his fucking dog is down here. While he's here, and I'm going to try not to cuss, thank you, everybody, for listening to us, the Please Elite the Squad. Yeah. We appreciate the love. Continue to interface and, 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 and interact with us. We love it. Uh, follow us on our social media platforms. And IG is P-L-S-D-E-L-T-H-I-S. Ooh, that's like a rapper. Mm. How you do that? P-L-E. Is it? Do, do, what? What? <laughs> 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 on Twitter, the same thing. On Facebook, is to please delete this. Uh, check us out on YouTube. We have a channel popping. You can see all the videos of little snippets of us being stupid. Um, also, listen to us on any one of our streaming platforms on uh, Spotify, <laughs> SoundCloud. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at this Google stupid dog like please iTunes. go upstairs. It's all right, man. Yes. It's all right. And all that stuff. Jen, please make the dog go upstairs. Um, I oh. wanted to say, oh, come on. we're 34 episodes in. Oh. We're 34 episodes in. Go upstairs. And I have really, really... Keep talking. Both of us are going to leave now. All right. This is just me, people. So if I sign narcissistic, it's because my friend's left. So we're 34 episodes in. And I just want to say... I'm here, too. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, I'm just addressing the people. And I want to get soft for a second. Pause. Hmm. Um, (laughs) uh, 34 episodes in. We appreciate so much people that's still rocking with it. I realized as the weather's turning... And, you know, fall is here and, and winter's going to be approaching. I was like, oh, shit. We started this almost a year ago, like coming up like soon. And people are actually still tuning in. We get the week. We get cussed out if we don't put an episode up. Um, so we, I appreciate it, man. And just share with your folks if you laughed or, or if you want to share a smile or some bullshit facts that we share or whatever it is, man. Like, like we really appreciate y'all um, rocking with us a week almost every week and uh you know yeah just just share it man if you enjoyed it for this long don't be selfish get it out there and if you like following us on social media tell your friends to follow us or tag your friends you know stuff like that yeah follow us on the tell your people follow us on the instagram you know and for the record that big pun (coughs) slash kanye picture is an original please delete this photo yes let me tell you something (laughs) when you put that in the group chat i was offended <laughs> I, I waited for you to say something. I didn't want to because I was offended. Why be offended? Because I love Big Pun. You, Me too. Exactly. That's why I thought it was too far. But then Darren was like, "Go ahead and post it." And I'm Listen, like, "Listen, everybody I'm else is able Bim. to put." Darren I, doesn't love Big Pun. I, waited, I do love Big Pun. I waited the whole that next in the morning. middle, a little Italy, little that we know that we riddle to middle man that didn't do Italy. See, I love him. And you say Typical. he didn't rap. <laughs> Typical. And you say he didn't rap, nigga. Give me another bar. <laughs> <laughs> Not a player. I just fuck a lot. <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I was like, oh, but that's pun. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. That's what I. So I waited the whole next morning. What was that other stupid ass picture from? That's from the Kanye video. Who's the person in the, vi- in the picture Pump. with him? Him and Lil Pump. That song's with Lil Pump. What I, song is that? The one with uh, my wife's a hoe. What is it? Uh, you're such a fucking hoe. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's the one he did on Saturday Night Live in a Perrier bottle. In a Perrier oh, bottle. I saw. I he, saw. They the were in costumes. Yeah. He was dressed as a bottle of Perrier. What's going on? I don't know. Niggas losing it. And I can say that as one who has loved Kanye for, since since Kanye before Kanye. Uh, the, the niggas crazy. Is it dope? At least on some hype William shit, or is just weird? No, it's, it's just weird. weird. But the song is good. You it's like kind, the song? It's kind of like how Bound is really, really good, but the video was so stupid that it's going to make you hate the song. I don't think oh. I like the song. 
I heard it in the club. I thought maybe if it was loud out here. Doom, 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 it didn't move me. Doom. I think because I love Adele Givens. Who? The comedian. What she do? She she has a little talking in there. That's her? Mm-hmm. How do you not know her voice? Yeah, oh, man. Didn't you watch Comic View, nigga? Who didn't watch Comic View? Exactly. I was oh, talking about um, like how Lil Duval. We, me and my brother saw. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> A comedian that used to be on Comic View long, long time ago. Oh shit, we saw him in the hotel. Somebody Ooh. who used to be on He's old now. Hold on. One of them not Bruce Bruce. old comedians no, is coming no. to FET this Sunday. I just saw it on Instagram yesterday. Which one? Oh, I think I saw that too. Uh, talent? The comedian or some shit like that? Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to go. Oh, so while you're looking for that, guess what tomorrow finally is? The fifth. WizKids finally coming. Oh. That is tomorrow. You're going. Yeah. You already got your tickets? Yeah. George Wallace. Oh wow! Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He used to wear the um, you know, the can go backwards yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah I saw him in the in the uh, hotel, looking super old still. But he got a residency in um in Vegas. Was That's it cool? What's up? Uh, you talk to him? I'd be nervous. Me too. But he was giving out tickets to his upcoming really? show to the sure? people in the hotel, oh. some of the workers and stuff. Yeah. Talk to him. Speaking of, I told you guys I uh, came across Paulie Shore. Okay, I, yeah, I forgot that you told us this. <laughs> Can you tell the people what your experience was? Right, so uh, I'm in my room and I get a call uh, from the front desk and uh, the, the lady I've been working with. And she's like, "Oh, can you come down? The thing is not printing. We really need help to help a guest." It's like, "All right, cool." I get down there, go to the back, and she comes out. And she's like, "It's Paulie Shore." <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. In my head, I'm like, if this right. was 20 years yeah, ago, yeah. it might be. <laughs> so I go out there, and he's there. You can see the disgruntledness. Oh. I was like, you can hear, like you, you hear what his stupid voice. What was he trying voice. to print that he can't do on his cell a phone? Bunch in an app. of a, a bunch of contracts for the shows, which, oh, okay. Okay. which right. I was all like, right. all right, cool. But the thing was, he was a dick. Mm. Yeah. So I I jump on the computer, I do my thing, and I met my head. I'm like, should I say hello? Should I say anything? Yeah. Like he, he doesn't look like he's too happy at the moment. So whatever. I get it to print. I'm like, cool, you're good. And I kind of sit back just in case she wasn't all set. And I go check out another computer, and then he goes, it's not printing again, bro. Can you just print it for her? Like he called you, great. bro. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, I can. I help you. You yeah. didn't feel honored that police show called you, bro. No, because he said it in a very condescending way. Oh. Like he said it like, do your fucking job. Oh. And so that's how it sounded in my head. But yeah. you know what? Again, I, I have the idea that if you're a celebrity, you probably get bothered all the time right. about shit. You probably are, just want to relax and be a normal person. He's in Kansas, can't. for God's sake. Motherfucking Kansas. Yeah, so I Where, mean, whatever. Yeah. So, <laughs> Even Dorothy's not there no more. <laughs> <laughs> so I jump back yeah, in. your brain. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I jump back in. I print out his stuff. And while he's while he's waiting, I was like, "Oh, like it's it's good to meet you. Like you got a couple of shows coming oh, up you said like, this. in Kansas, yeah." Hey, okay. And he was like, "Oh yeah, I got a couple of shows. Usually my my assistant does all this stuff, but I'm not at home." Like he right. still sound like a stoner. He sounds like a stoner. The inner kid in me still loves Paulie Shore. Yeah, it bothers I mean, me that he's a again, dick. it would have been exciting. Like I've met a couple other celebrities, but like nobody was really rude the way yeah. he was. He was a rude. <laughs> he was a rude. <laughs> The whole car thing that that car post you whoosh. Whoosh. when I finally got it I was so mad at myself. <laughs> What's going on? So, pause in the Paulie Shore oh conversation. Boy. Jen puts up a nice um po uh, post. What is what what is your car's name? Yeah. yeah, it was name your car day. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, I didn't name my car yet. I haven't thought of a name, so I'm like, it's red. I'm not gonna do some stupid shit like cherry. So I said whoosh. But he put R O U J the way it is spelled. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like. Rouge. And so I said, is that Haitian? And, <laughs> and he uh, said, yeah. yeah. And he put W-O-U-J. <laughs> and you're like, oh, whoosh. I'm like, oh, whoosh. Like, whoosh. <laughs> <"Red."> <laughs> whoosh. <laughs> whoosh. Like, I was so mad that when I read it as whoosh, it made sense. Like, <laughs> and it oh, clicked duh. automatically. Stupid. Yeah. Because in French, whoosh. it's not even spelled what it is. No. R-O-U-G-E. -E. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Oh, G-U-E. Yeah. Rouge. Rouge. Yeah. But he put W-O-U-J and all of a sudden it made sense. Like, yeah. oh, whoosh. Are you vacation? <laughs> She's that one, I'm sure. Hey. Oh, wow. No, I'm not even talking. <laughs> I don't even mean like. Yeah, he do, girl. Yeah. Yes, I don't even mean like yes, you should no. be Haitian. I mean, I'm sure you've dealt with your fair share. She knows what you're saying. I know what the fuck she you know meant you're the first time. <laughs> you're not making it better by doubling down, <laughs> Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I apologies. <laughs> Do you like the name Rouge? <laughs> so, yo, Mike is Rouge too. Yo. Oh, I thought he said something. <laughs> 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 
Yo, he's supposed to get tackled. <laughs> yo, yo I would love to see Jen yo, try to tackle me. Yo, no, she would have tackled you. <laughs> you, you saw my face, right? Yeah. <laughs> I say he said what the fuck. <laughs> so my um, bad. Back to that's Polish right. Show, yeah, so he just he was just there <laughs> being like a kind of a loser. He apparently had a couple interviews yeah, to do kind of to promote the show that okay. he was doing. Um, and then later on in the day, I saw him all laid out on the couch, me and like a slob. Like s- sleeping? <laughs> yeah. He was like, they have like a couch area, you know, in the hotel. So he didn't yeah. really get a so room. He just, he, I guess he was just, you know, bumming it out. I don't know. Huh. I don't know what he was doing, but I used, I'm, to, I used to love Paulie Shore. But you know who I did meet that was quite an interesting, um, Paul Aaron, is that his name? What? Aaron so, Paul? There we go. Breaking Bad? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay, I knew okay. I had him. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I met him at Dedham. Did you really? Yeah. He it's... sounds like Jesse. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Again, uh, and meeting him, you could see on his face, like, I'm just trying to be a normal guy to get something to eat. Yeah. So I didn't make a big fuss. I was like, oh, hey, how you doing? I shook his hand. He's like, yeah. how you doing? That's what's up. Yeah, real cool. Uh, what ruins it uh, is- What ruins it? Ruins Gen- it. <laughs> I said ruin. Oh, a, it's the same no. thing you say it. <laughs> I say ruin. I, say <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. So there's a lady sitting at the bar with another uh, older lady, so I'm guessing mother daughter. And all you hear is, oh my God. Ah, uh, then like, he shuts down. Yeah, and he's immediately he got up. He's kind of walking towards the elevator. She's like, oh my God, I just want to say I love you. Uh, can I take a picture? And he's like, no, 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 thank you. I'm all set. It was very nice to meet you. Have a good day. Yeah. Disappear into the elevator. Oh man! People like that ruin it. Like, but you know just... what though? It's he was on one of the biggest shows ever to yes. me. It's, it's like time yes. to me. Yes, Jen, you ever watch Breaking Bad? Only like two episodes. Trash. Oh my god, Jen! How can you? Okay. Uh, was it two random episodes? No, it was like two in the beginning. Oh, but it takes like it takes a while to, to a build four up. Or five not even because it was while. after the show was like already off. Oh, was, so you were like, was, what's all the hype about? And no, you watched not it even. Somebody told me, was like, oh, you should really what watch is this it. It was somebody Breaking I Bad. trust. So I was like, all right. So I watched the first, and it mm. was good, but like, I just never went back to it. Yeah. I'll say, and I, you know, I watch a lot of TV. It was a lot of bullshit. That's yeah. literally one of the best shows I've ever watched. Yeah, top 10 for me. Yeah. And this, that's like, mm-hmm. you know. All the way to the end. All the way. Yes. Speaking oh. of shows. I've watched two new shows this this week. And, and I then she comes with some bullshit that's only going to last one season. Whoa, first of all, these are both good shows. Fuck you. Off of one episode that you watched? Face. Two, one and a half, two and a half episodes, two episodes and a half, two, two episodes plus one episode, three episodes, three episodes. Of new shows they and both you feel like they're ABC. good? Uh-huh. First of all, neither one of you whole ass niggas watched oh. them, so you don't know. How do you know? Because you already judging me. Because had you watched a new show that was as fire as the one that I watched, okay, you'd have so been like, maybe she's right. But you over here judging. Which show? Uh, Which show? All right. So the first show I watched was called A Million Little Things. Both of these shows are on ABC. Okay. A Million Little Things. I seen the commercials and I was oh, like, I nah. I'm like, this is like, feels like a, is little, it funny? a little heavy. No, this one wasn't heavy. That wasn't funny. Is that the one? Um, With this, like, the group of friends, and one of them tries to commit suicide. And one of them committed suicide. Uh, oh, he did. Yeah. So the first episode, he kills himself. That's oh, the building. Yeah. And so it basically, is, it's, oh, it's about okay, what happens okay. to the rest of them. And that did look good. It is really good. And Romney Malco, love him. Oh, he's on that forty year old version. Yeah. Okay. He's he's great. Oh yes, he is great. Yes. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm gonna see something racist. I'm there sorry. Is it racist? <laughs> <laughs> And it's not even real life racist. It's like fake life racist. But I'm going to say it and I apologize in advance. So the show, The Four Friends, is four men. One black guy, three white guys, right? And I'm not going to bullshit you all. I'm going to be honest. For the first 45 minutes of episode one, I couldn't tell when they were doing flashbacks and when they were doing real. Because I'm like, the guy who killed himself kind of looks like the other guy who's still alive. Because they're both white. And I couldn't, I couldn't separate them uh, for a while. They should have casted better. That's on they don't even look alike. I was just being racist. Oh shit! I'm glad you admitted it. All right. That, so I just wanted to let that be known. But the show is amaze balls. Oh, for two episodes? Yes. Come on. Because the first episode I didn't mean to watch. Mm. I was going to sleep. The TV was on. It was on, and I couldn't turn the TV off after two minutes. I had to watch the whole hour. Tell us what was so compelling about this show. Just, two episodes in. Because you just, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Spoil I, it. I no, I, spoil I just it. challenge. Just you, say spoiler alert. That's what I just do. challenge mm. you to watch. Episode one. And What's it the name me of the show? A million little things. I challenge watch you to it. watch. Thank you, Darren. I challenge <sighs> you to watch episode one. Don't if you oblige get, her, Darren. If you get no, through, I, if you get through ten minutes and you don't want to watch it, then turn it off. You watched two episodes of Breaking Bad and stopped. You want us to watch your stupid mm-hmm. little show? <laughs> I didn't say Breaking Bad was bad. I just never went back to it. Why would I go back to this? 
just goddamn it, do it because I fucking said so. Do it because I told you. Second show, also on ABC, is called Single Parents, and it's about single parents and they're all the kids guessed it. are on <laughs> are in one class and it just was funny it was funny as fuck it's just, should we watch that too yes nigga you a single parent well you know I'm lying you're an engaged parent but, <laughs> 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 you, I was like, I, <laughs> <laughs> but you were once a single parent you engaged parent <laughs> we should do a show like that engaged parent engaged parent <laughs> In the last of season. Because <laughs> then you get married and then everything then is, is a fancy mo- done. It's a moot point. <laughs> Word. So Fine. Then, I watched the million things. So I like Romney Malko. Malko, what is it? How many you say his name? I don't know. Romney. 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 Like Mitt. Like Mitt, but not white. He has binders full of women. What? Hmm? You remember that from the... Oh, from 40-year-old version? Oh, 40- no. What? From the election when Mitt Romney ran for president. Mitt Romney had a binder full of bitches? Yes. And they were talking about how he don't hire no women. He's like, what you mean I got a binder for... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, why he ain't president? I know, right? <laughs> At this point... I know Romney had a binder of bitches. No, he didn't say a binder of bitches. He said I have a binder full no, of women. Now that you say that, I remember. I remember, remember that, that right? happened. Yeah. Binder oh, full... <laughs> See, it comes up. Of women. That's like saying... What do you mean? My best friend's black. That's exactly. Like, yeah. Wow. That's exactly what it is. Binder full of women is a phrase used by Mitt Romney on October 16, 2012. Oh, it's about Damn, to be the anniversary. Oh, During shit. the second U.S. presidential debate of 2012. Can you scroll down a little bit? What was the date? What was the date on that again? <laughs> Bill. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a picture of Bill Clinton, and then it says, did somebody say <laughs> binder full of women? <laughs> Bill getting a bad rap just from getting some head. What was the date that Romney said that? <laughs> October 16, 2012. You got to celebrate that anniversary. Hell yeah. We it's, have to. It's in, have uh, to I can't do math. 12 days from now. I'm putting on my calendar. I was getting some head. Get, <laughs> getting some head. Yeah. So if Bill Clinton was to run again for something, that should be his campaign music. I was getting some head. You said October what? 16th. 16th. Okay. 2012. It's been the six-year anniversary six of Binders Full of Women. Binders Full of... I was getting some head. Get, getting some head. And ain't nobody say biatches, nigga. Biotech? What do you say? What? <sighs> All right. Got it. Locked in. Um, so, yeah. Uh, celebrate Nate Dog and Binders Full of Bitches. Women. Women. Yes. Women. I can't believe you really said that, though. Women's. I like women's. <laughs> I'm delivered. Um, what was... um? Oh, what was I going to say? Hold on. There was some other shit. No. Somebody talk while uh, I look at my thing. When you die, do you want to be turned into a tree? Or born to just be buried? What the fuck is going on? Darren, you high? Nah. <laughs> what are you talking about? And this is why he don't get high. Because this is him <laughs> just on some regular. Be stupid all He's just own. so sensitive. Yeah. Why is that sensitive? <laughs> that ain't a sensitive ass question. Do you want to be made into a tree when well, you die? These things now, if you pass, or when you, or when you pass, you could be put into a, a, a pod, if you will, mm. and buried, and, and you will turn into a fucking tree and sprout and give life back to the earth so your loved ones can say look there's grandpa on the yard until you get to the determine tree what kind of tree i don't know well, i'd be I, a bonsai tree on the apple tree okay so it'd be eat me so <laughs> <laughs> eat me i want to be a bonsai tree i want to be a little midget tree <laughs> so you guys would be all for this mm. did you see the lady who made her gravestone into an iphone i saw that what yeah, she made her that's her. why i don't watch the news the the Five minutes I was watching the news. That's the dumb shit I saw. Yeah, she her gravestone looked like an iPhone. I don't, I don't, I don't. So she was getting some hair. No, no, <laughs> she was getting some hair. So no, no tree for you? No, so. Oh, I'll take tree. So like when you're buried, right? I was talking to some, was I talking to a lady about this? I think so. Uh, you, you pass away and you get a, a headstone. People might visit you after a couple of years. Maybe, maybe not. Say your kids move away after you pass. You don't have any family in the state that you passed away in. Your headstone is just there. You paid mad money, and it's just there. Nobody visits it, nothing. What's I the think point? people still visit it. No, like, so ben. say for folks who have children, and their children move, and they live in other states, but they come back home to bury you because you said you want to be buried there or whatever. What's the point at that? Like, like who's going to your headstone? You? Hmm. Right? So if you say, hey, just put me, make me a tree... You're providing oxygen. You're giving back. Giving back. Providing shade. I don't know that I would go. First off, it bothers me how we're as humans. So, like, why do you care once you die? Yeah, you don't. You care while you're alive. That's what you make the choice. Yeah, but, like, but 
whether you're buried, put into the ocean, turned into a tree, like what matter? What does it matter? Does it what? Because Darren, what does took, it matter? I took so much from this earth while I was here. <laughs> I want to give back, and I want to contribute and continue to live on through a tree. <laughs> <laughs> as a tree as a tree nah, I don't. but I would be offended so I cut the tree down <laughs> is that your pose as a tree <laughs> I don't know I'd lean to the left <laughs> whoa <laughs> whoa don't ask Jen see I, I wasn't see, going so my immediate thought when I like okay I turn into a tree and 30 years later I'm tall and shit and my kids go oh, there's there's grandpa and blah 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 and I think like one storm comes by and I fall in the house wow That's that would I'm suck saying. that would suck that would suck. <laughs> That's funny. Mommy, where are we going to live now? Grandpa's dead. The house is... He was always clumsy. <laughs> wow. My, my, now my child got to deal with the decision of do, I, do I chop him up and put him in a fire? Yo. Or do I sell the wood? So do you they know? mix your ashes with the dirt that I grows the tree? Or do they just bury you? Supposedly they take the your whole grow. body. Oh boy. They put you into a pod. I don't like it. They put you in a hole and they fucking water you and you so decompose. You I feel like there's some steps you, missing. Uh, probably. because <laughs> It's the voodoo tree. <laughs> it's the voodoo tree. Oh, it's probably like uh, the government is doing this so they can use your body for other shit. Speaking of the government, I heard today from my boss. Why you here, girl? When do we vote, by the way? November. Because the, the commercial is getting aggressive. They are. <clears throat> <coughs> Fungi Ramundo. I was about to say who did it. Yo, I, <laughs> they should fight. You know what? <laughs> Yo, I paid yeah, good American Rhode Island dollars to watch them fight. I've met Fung mad times. He's me cool. too. He's yeah, very cool. I, super cool. He came to the school and everything. But like they got that one ad that where he got the Trump scully on. It's, <laughs> it's damaging to him. I, if I was, I'd be, ah, well, that's it. That's I it. was like, yo, I quit. Is it that bad? <laughs> because I, I heard well, he's, so. he's Republican. Yeah. So, so he had to respect. Yeah. But Fung, I mean. You know, no. yeah, he's been cool. My craziest <laughs> commercial I've seen is the White House one. Except break it down. Sheldon White House. So I don't know who's running against him. Uh-huh. I don't even know who the commercial's for. But they basically were saying that no matter what you ask him, his response is climate change. Oh, so, don't tell me it had receipts. So whatever they people asked him, blah, 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 Sheldon White House. And then they had the Sheldon White House actor. He would say climate change, climate change, climate Like it was a buzzword. Mm-hmm. So they had the Sheldon White House go to church. And they passed the collection plate. Oh, my God. And he put a piece of paper in it that said climate change. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I thought that shit was so funny. Wow. <laughs> they had to put climate change in the collection that's plate. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yo, that's trash. But you know what, though? The fact that you couldn't remember who he's running, running against, it it's funny. an ineffective ad. Right. So, I mean, you still going to vote White House. hilarious. White House, right? Yeah, show the White House. Yeah, he had a uh, ad that was good. I can't remember what he said though. <laughs> so that was effective. Yeah, I don't know who he's running against, but I know Fung and, and Ramondo gonna fight. <laughs> they definitely gonna fight. Yo, did you watch the first <laughs> the first debate? <laughs> nah, I don't watch the debates. I just happened to stumble upon it. Let me tell you something. Oh, is that what the thing that you were on posting on oh, IG? Instagram? That shit was fire. Yo, that shit was hilarious. It was Tim White. And I forgot the other guy's name from Channel 12 were the mediators. And they brought all the smoke. Like, they didn't give a fuck. Like, they were just cutting them off. We said 30 seconds. They were Boom. mad sassy. It was Boom. sassy. Hands in the face. <laughs> we said... Da, 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 da. And what did they do? Oh, they asked Fung something about Ramondo, about the Paw Sox um, leaving to Worcester. He answered and he tried to deflect to something else. And on that note, DCYF. And he was like, no, we said Paw Sox. <laughs> Stay on topic. <laughs> Fuck them damn. kids. They were mad God, sassy. Shit was the hilarious. Do we, uh, do we care about the white side? So- uh, um, red? What is Paw it? Paw Sox. You know, I feel like I do, especially because my job just got uh, became a sponsor of them. Of so we do. got really? like free tickets. to We got like box tickets. Oh. And- <laughs> 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 hey. It's so The box show. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be, I'm down. Wow. Hey, speak while Jen's going. Go ahead. Uh, my job is sending me to Florida. I was going to say, you got pills? Go yeah. My bag. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> I even told a lady this, but uh, it's my wife's birthday that week, the, Ooh. Week, of the, the week of the 15th, and um, so we were able to finesse it where she's going to fly down she's Thursday. Going. Yeah, okay. she's going to fly down Thursday. Uh, we should be able to wrap up all the work that we got to do by Friday, and we'll have the weekend. That's dope. No kids or whatever, and I said to myself, should I, should I get a pill? Darren, listen, let me tell you something. 
It'd be the first time we've had time to ourselves for more than three hours. The boy's going to be with the grandparents? Boy's with the grandparents, girl's with the mom. Dog is hopefully going to be dead. <coughs> I'm going to edit that out. So <laughs> Leave it in. Pause. Um, <laughs> what weekend are you going? I leave Monday the 15th, and we come back that Sunday. Okay. So she's coming down Thursday. So, yeah, if you do me a favor. Wait, what weekend is you Wait, you said you leave on the 15th? Not this, not next week, the week after. The week after. Hold on. I'm looking at my calendar, people. Hold on. So you leave on the 15th. That Saturday, I go away. So you come back on what, the 21st, 20th? 20, Second? 22nd. The Monday. The Sunday. Oh, 21st. I'm sorry. 21st. All right. Because I go away that weekend. So I'm saying to myself, I might as well grab some for that you weekend. as well. So you do your homework. No. I do my homework, no, and, we'll and we'll come back and talk about it on that. Nobody's going to want to hear this. I don't care. Are you <laughs> telling me a woman? I'm not. <laughs> I told you a lady. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> bam, 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 I, Jen's coming back. Don't talk about it. Darren and I have determined <laughs> the dates <laughs> bam, bam, for bam, our bam. research experiment. <laughs> Please come back and listen to us. We'll be recording on... Episode 36? 30, that That'll be six by then if we decide to record 30, next week. Five thirty six. What is happening? Wait, Darren, are you away next week? He is away. No, not I was next week. The week after. The week after. Oh, that was next week. So that'll be episode 30, 35, 36. So with 37, we'll, we'll be able 37. to give our findings. What's happening? Darren and I will do some research. Oh, Lord. The yeah. week and weekend leading yes. into the 20th. Yes. And we'll come back and let you know about those gas station pills. <laughs> the fuck? Yes, you heard it here first. <laughs> Not n- Ali is gonna be like, what? Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't participate in any of these because technically, no. Don't they have pills for women too? They don't need any more extra uh, nothing. Right. They I just already don't get- have anyone to have sex with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. I love when Bib gets like, like <laughs> uncomfortable. Like, I get wild uncomfortable. Ah, all right. That's, that's all right. what I meant. Don't make gusta. Um, I don't gusta either. <laughs> I don't gusta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Are we, are we on time? Uh, we got like 10 more minutes. Can I address something? Address it, my friend. Over the past week or two, I've noticed something. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason why I'm here with you guys is because you laugh with me. Um, seldom happens, but you cry with me. But for the most part, it's joy. Yes. We get together to spread joy through this illustrious podcast. Yes. And I've noticed on the social media, wow, Jen is devouring some fruit roll-ups like a project kid, <laughs> and it makes my heart smile. <laughs> Troy, so, you see Troy. I noticed on the social media a lot of um, people who don't want to laugh. That's a lot of people who are just upset or find the... The darkness in things. Wow. They look at the 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 glasses half empty. And it really makes me sad. There's a lot of fucked up shit in life already. Now, especially on social media. If you see something that is posted with the intent of laughter and joy, is it such a crime for you to just laugh? Do you think the intent the person who posted originally doesn't know that there's another side of it? We wanna laugh. What's the purpose of a comedian? A comedian can take some foul shit, a talented Mm. comedian, flip it, and turn it into laughter. Mm. There's a lot going on in life. Let's laugh. Oh, I saw saw it. We're going to do that. Uh, Mm. Let's laugh. So, to the people out there, unless you have, like, you know, depression, in that case, I hope you have help and we pray for you. But other than that, let's scroll. Let's laugh together. Let's share some funny shit. Let's bring joy into this world. A good belly laugh. A good belly laugh. When's the last time you belly laughed, sad (laughs) person? (laughs) Huh? Sad person. When's the last time you up. laughed <laughs> and had some tears coming out your eye? When's like, the last time you laughed and had some snot come out your nose? Like 20 minutes ago, nigga? It's, that's us, though, because we living. Huh? Oh, yup. <laughs> <laughs> Preach. <laughs> nah, I just want people to, to know that it's okay. It's okay to smile. Yeah, it should be fucked up sometimes, but you know what? You can't draw on it. A day you wake up, you're blessed. There's Ow. a reason to smile. There's a reason to, 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 to say thank you. And spread some joy. Don't be joy. miserable. Joy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, sister. <laughs> a day we wake up, we got a reason to be happy. We got that a man right there got joy. <laughs> that man right there got joy. <laughs> now I want to introduce Randy Watson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. That's my mama episode. Oh, what's, oh, what's going, going down? down? <laughs> For those of you who didn't laugh to that, laugh. 
Laugh. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> laugh. Oh, that hurt my chest. Laugh. Don't say there aren't any good movies anymore. <laughs> See, I missed that. No, laugh. It's funny. We oh. have that to reference. Yeah. My eyes are burning. So, if every day you wake up and you're alive and you have your common sense and you have all your faculties working, laugh. Give thanks. Yeah. Spread joy. Even if it's not laughing at us. Like, just right. find something that's funny. Find something that you enjoy and just enjoy it. I mean, there's so much more that could be happening in your life that is truly, like, depressing. Right. You know, you. I don't know what's happening in your life. Maybe you need to hear this, whoever is listening to us. We don't know what's happening like in your life. Like last week, the guys who needed to hear to wash a dick. Somebody got to hear it. Somebody got to hear it. And you know what? They watched their dick. They mm-hmm. did. And they probably got some fire head out. Come on now. What I'm saying. So, <laughs> take it from us to please delete this podcast. <laughs> please don't take it Laughter from us. is beautiful. <laughs> Life is beautiful. Getting good head is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Ugly club. brother in the club. Believe it will happen. Think Aww. it into existence. <laughs> Smell good. <laughs> some, Be nice. I know. You all... Send chicken wings, <laughs> ugly nigga. And you will get some head. You and unite. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. That was in my spirit, though, man. I felt that oh, like that for the past amazing. week. Wow. Yeah, no, I pre- we appreciate that. I, no, I feel like it's necessary because what this kind is a, of spirit is this? The holy Nigerian spirit. I know that's right. We turn it, it up. And if you're listening to this, and you may not be in that position, but you may know somebody that is in that position where they're not happy, they don't have that joy. I joy. Like <laughs> I said joy. Joy. <laughs> I just can't help it. I'm so sorry. That's a good reaction. I like it. It's like the knee jerk. Right, right, right. right. You know, so sh- share this message with them. And even if it's not this message, then share your own. You know, I mean, uh, we're all put on this earth and we're earth. all in each other's life. Oh, yup. To spread that positivity and be a support to one another. So let's do it. I think that's one like of the reasons tree. we started this podcast. <laughs> Please don't do that. That's, I'm a tree. <laughs> I can see Jen's tree like, yes, <laughs> with a fanny pack <laughs> off to the side. <laughs> I got a fanny pack on a tree full of sap and shit. <laughs> yes. Play <laughs> dips in the back shade. of it. Uh, shade. <laughs> shade. Mad shade. <laughs> so I think, I think before we go, <laughs> we should talk about. Um, oh, that was good. Uh, we put up the question earlier. Uh, you put up, nigga, with your I sensitive did. ass. Wow. I know. Well, you know, I'm, I'll get into why I put it up. Um, but we asked the question, do you think men and women can be friends and nothing further? <gasps> the obvious question is yes, yes. obviously. Yeah. But somebody in the comments, who was it? Uh, uh, said, said no, no, no. Somebody said. Uh, that's, that's Dot Bella? Uh, uh, no, I didn't even see that. No, uh, somebody said, unless you slept with the person in the oh, past. Oh, that was Karina. That's my bae. Who's Karina? I swear to her. She does on the podcast? I guess so. I Hi know. Karina. That Hi, was a Karina. great that was a great wrinkle, a great wrench to throw into the um the simple question. <laughs> Cause we have to complicate it. It can't just be straight up. She said that's tough, tough. <laughs> 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 tough, tough. <laughs> yeah, so she's coming to Whiskey tomorrow. That's what's up. What um up, Karina? Yeah, have fun. And tell her what we like the question. No, so I think we all agree yes, men and women yes. can be friends. Now uh, duh, we're friends. Yes. Oh yeah, that's right. So <laughs> <laughs> now now, 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 now. Let's muddy the wall now. If in fact, if, if, damn. <laughs> if in fact, your mate did have sexual relations yeah. in the past. Yeah. Now, there's a few scenarios. Mm-hmm. If they had sexual relations in the past, remained friends, mm-hmm. you were aware that they were friends. Mm-hmm. And when you got together, you knew that they were friends. There's mm-hmm. not much you can say, at least in my opinion. Hmm. Facts. Now. If the the dude kind of lingers, but they ain't friends, friends. Like he's just kind of in the cu- in a cut. Like he yeah, like once up, in a while. Like he, he hits waiting. up like your, he's your your hey, friend stranger. who you happen don't to be in a podcast. Don't stranger. Don't Hold on, Darren. Not you, but I'm just saying because no, you yeah, said yeah. it. Yo, don't hey stranger. No, let me see. Hey stranger, we gonna be friends. <clears throat> me and me. Yeah, nah. yeah. Don't know. Hey stranger, my G. I know that's right. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I just had to you address just got, that. You just got, you just got aggressive. <laughs> ain't no hey stranger, my G. Or or, or 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 you hit up your friend who you happen to be on a podcast with and be like, "Yo, can you tell her that I had said? Can we get together?" Oh my God! <laughs> you didn't see that coming, then? You didn't see that coming? I want to pay attention. <laughs> wow! Oh, that's, oh. that's how you get nut in your eye. Whoa! Oh. Well then, you know I think just I'm thinking about that. 
uh, there was one person I hated so much Damn. that I remember I, I told you about it. The chick Ooh. that got me fired from uh, Cox. Ooh. Um, Homegirl that got me fired, got from, fired Cox. from Cox. Yeah. Somebody got you fired? I thought you did it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Because you would be like a sleep and shit? No. no, no, no. I, w- I wish it was because of that. No. But Homegirl got me fired. And I, I already hated her. as a, When I found out it was like really her doing, oh I was God. like, yo, I hate her so much. Oh I just want to like not come for like a month and then like stop time and then come in and slap her with all my cum in her, in her face. That's how much I hated her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you, you mean don't like, remember. You mean like ejaculate come? Yo, like wow, like you, st- you like Yo, you I've stored, never heard Darren you talk stored like it up for like a good <laughs> two weeks, and then just and wish then it could stop. Pills and then, and then, go. Oh! Okay, maybe off the mic you tell me who this is. Yeah, I'm sure I've had this conversation with you. Yo, you I did there. not know. Oh, uh, my eyes are burning. Holy yeah. shit! What were we talking about before that <laughs> revelation? I, I heard come in the face, and then I that triggered. Oh, the friends, friends thing. Yes. Wow. Okay, wow, we like wow. got wow. You guys, you guys are doing it right. Oh, oh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Bim. Sorry, oh, Bim. Look forward. Y'all fucking hate football. Anyways, <laughs> go Colts. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Friends. Friends. Shut up. <laughs> Friends. Don't you hear two men? I'm talking. Friends. <laughs> but I... I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Bim. I'm sorry. Um, fuck. Uh, Why you got this TV on? You can't even turn the goddamn TV. Hey, I'm bring me the remote. Catch a case. <laughs> what are we talking about? Friends. Okay. How many of us have them? Not you, nigga. I ain't a friend. <laughs> Darren. <laughs> Sir. If this motherfucker is lingering, mm. what, what is your, you're probably nicer than me, but like, what, what's your take? I got you it. just said he was going to wait no. two weeks to come and, <laughs> and then smack a woman in the face with it. I don't think he's nicer than anybody. But it was, had nothing to do with this topic <laughs> that we're talking about. You're right. It's, it's a different world, Jen. <laughs> Why Darren just randomly talk about coming? Because she somebody? said. Because I said what? You said like coming her eyes or something like that. Anyways, <laughs> that's neither neither here nor there. Um, I, I, I got to find Sit out what my lady is thinking. I, I got to ask the lady first. Like, why is he there? It's innocent. You... I don't I don't want anything from him. We're just friends. That's the answer. Go. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't see why he's talking to you that way. What way? You what say way? hello? Yeah, just, I don't see why he's... You know you know. Why he say hello more. to you? I, I think, uh, again, that's me. I'm, I'm probably going to trust my woman to handle it. What's there to handle, though, for what he said was hello? Yeah. If, and if she said, you know what I mean, it ain't nothing like that. It ain't nothing like that, okay. Until I feel like it is something like that, and I... And then like, you what, nigga? Let us know. What you gonna do? <laughs> come in his face. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, that no, 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 what's up, man? Um, what's up? See, that... that but uh, see, that'll stop a dude in the tracks, though. You it won't. It I won't stop. To stop you, babe. It won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> you still gonna pursue this woman? Hey, girl. After hey, her girl, just say hi. Oh, oh, hey, oh. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. Hey, oh. hey, hey, look. Hey, stranger. <laughs> oh, this got strange with me. <laughs> stranger things. Ow. Stranger dicks. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> A lot. Many um, things. So yeah, I'm gonna trust my woman to handle it. Uh, and so she could be friend with next. Yeah. No, no. I'll, I'll I'll voice my concerns if I have any. I'll say, hey, I don't don't really like this. I'm comfortable with it or whatever it is. I can I'll trust her to handle it until I feel like you're not handling it. Yeah. And then and don't tell her what she can handle or can't yeah. handle. <laughs> you Clearly, she can handle it before you. Boom. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> don't get me started. And then uh, either I confront. Her with it. You confront her. Confront. It be confront. So, you. If it you? if it's a situation where like, because we've been in long term relationships, right? See. With each other. I love him. I know. I love him as well. I know that's right. And love and love makes <laughs> more love. <Ow. laughs> no, we've been in long relationships with our women, right? Yes. So at this point, if there hasn't been a social setting. Where we're all hanging out, including this alleged friend, especially mm. if we live in the same vicinity. Yeah. That's yeah. a good rule. He ain't of your thumb. friend. And, and the same applies for me. If I say somebody's my friend or acquaintance 
and we all never hung out or if you're not getting an invite to the wedding or if you don't get an invite to the cookout or whatever mm -hmm. clearly you're not my friend not like that <laughs> yo anyway why did you that's intermission music when i need a transition the moon walk out the whole thing ruined me that day nah. it ruined me <laughs> <laughs> Mammy. Hello. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Yeah, if you don't see this person in a social setting to where you can look this man in the eyes and make sure, you know what I'm saying? I got a headache. Nah. I don't know what you are saying. Okay, if you can't look this man in the eyes and see interactions with your yeah. with the person yeah. that you're with to make sure shit is okay. Mm -hmm. Copacetic. Nah, it's so like if, you, if, <laughs> if the three of you are around and it's super awkward. Then that's that's yeah, your first sign that it's like oh this is not yeah. this friend yeah this is not friendship no no so yeah that's 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 my rule of thumb so if you if I don't see this person we've been together mm -hmm. for a long time yeah I ain't friends like that mm. why you even need this person around mm. right Jen don't ask me no questions All right. why because I said so I quit that's podcast I go home. <laughs> What? I don't even work here no more. I don't work here. I don't no work more. here no more. Nigga, you the owner. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yeah, so, thanks uh, for bringing this popcorn. Uh, yeah, we definitely body the bag. Most of our answers. Body bag. We're from women. I we're from that. women. I would notice that trend. Yes. <laughs> um, and most of them, said if yes. I could find, I said yes. Because women are trusting, and we believe that guys actually want to be our friend when really guys just want to smash. Facts. So can I share something with you guys? As long uh, as it's not age, sure. <clears throat> oh my god. As long as it's not age? Okay. No, the other A word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> um Lord I was just dying on Moscato <laughs> once again. So uh a friend of mine hit me up and we would have a guy conversation. friend or girlfriend? Girlfriend. Oh yup. Uh and she said Your wife know her? <sighs> Huh. My Have wife you been knows in a social setting? Did she come to the kid's yeah. birthday party? Did she come to the cookout? Uh, she, she comes to the wedding? She doesn't My cookout? Wow. Well. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're done. Uh, <clears throat> no but, you know, I, I, my wife knows of her. Um, but we were talking about said question, and uh, she brought up an interesting <laughs> view. <laughs> what? What did I say? What? He said she brought up. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's not right. <laughs> no, no, help me understand. It's his fault. You he got it. At me. You got it. There you go. No, 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 help me understand. Did I not use it correctly? Why do you do this with? Because I because I have to. I, I want to correct Are you asking my me questions. You try to correct. Don't ask me no questions. Just your friend said what? Your friend brought up what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Is it not right? Just tell me. Is that not the correct use of the word? No, you use it right. I just don't know which word you're using. You said bought it. You, well, it must be brought. It has to be brought because you can't buy. Brought it up. You yeah, said brought up? Brought yeah. up. Yeah, it's bought. It's, it's brought. You, yeah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so she said, uh, I think men and women become, become friends with some sort of attraction. She said, I've never been a male or I female. I got ugly guy friends. That's, yeah, that I don't has, know if I agree with that. <laughs> that. I've never met a male or female that has a friend of the opposite sex that they were not attracted to. Do I know this person? <clears throat> nah, you may not know of her. Yeah, no, I don't I don't agree with that because I have plenty of, of uh, friends of the opposite sex who no attraction to, maybe attraction to their mind, like for, like whether they're... Like they're, they're intellectual. Yeah, intellectual or mm -hmm. friendly or, or just, funny. Just cool. Some level of attraction, but not mm. attraction as in, I want to get to know you intimately. Do you consider them friends, those people? I just said that. Okay. <laughs> because they're <laughs> my people. I, they're called women. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, no. Like, straight up friends. Yeah. Yeah. I tried Once to think. Once again, we are friends. Yes. Yeah. I, I, do you not consider me a friend? I do consider you a friend. I then. What do you think about your friend's take? Did you feel like you wanted to have relations with her, the one that you were sent that message um, or maybe she felt that way about don't you say, mm. Mm. Whoa. <clears throat> I can't say no more mm. well cause wow. we we no 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 just watch forget, it. forget it <laughs> forget it I just, forget I just, it I'll, forget I'll, it doesn't matter doesn't mic. matter um, we don't even care I thought I'll offer my conversation be yeah. fire nigga <laughs> indeed um, I thought it was just an interesting take because I just tried to like really think what did you this guy <laughs> this guy did you just steal back the Twix I stole from you yeah nigga <laughs> That's fucked up. Now you can have it. All right. Bye. His Colts are losing anyway, he so at least even, he could do. He didn't even share his candy cigarettes, then he gonna steal back the Twix that I bullied off of him. Anyways. His mad candy cigarettes. This was the only chocolate in the bag. 
I'm enough chocolate. Ah, Says the person who doesn't hey. like to be referred to as chocolate. Right? She did say that. No, 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 no. I didn't like being referred to as chocolate by them people that I didn't know sitting at the table next to us talking about jail showers. They were on a date, though. That was. All right. Jeez. That was great. I feel like we talked about a whole bunch of nothing. I met him in Vegas. I love JB Smooth. He looks like he's mad cool. With I was like, yo, voice. JB. He turned around. Air. <laughs> and then, and then went and back kept it moving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love his lisp. Clara met uh, Chris Rock. Rock. Oof. You said, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I said, who's Chris Watt? <laughs> God damn. Whoa. The way Darren caught that as soon as it came. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I hear it like loud as. This day in my hair and I'm like head and I'm like ah oh, shit. He's like Chris Fuck. Watts. <laughs> Chris Rock. Yeah. Um, she said he wasn't very funny in real life. Well, she again, ain't say say a joke, funny man. <laughs> no, but she like pestered him for a picture and he was like, all right, come on, like quick. Well, he, yeah, he's he Chris Rock. Be, yeah, he yeah, wants to be funny. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, exactly. He, That's why I feel like he's not celebrities. Black, you he's leave not them black alone. Celebrity. He's like he's, celebrity. celebrity. Hey. Yeah, like Jim, when people run into you in the public and be like oh my god i love your podcast you don't like sit there and do podcast shit he's just like all right nigga <laughs> right? you don't be like what what right you don't say okay fine I'll these do it. nuts what <laughs> back of snacks <laughs> you don't do none of this look at her can you do this is uh, uh jesus won't he do it can you do that quick we're not expected to entertain all the time people so when you see jen in the street don't ask her for snacks. What the fuck are you saying right now? <laughs> let, her, let her know. Nobody nobody talks to me in the streets. Like, oh, shut up. No, you you come tell us that people talk that to me. That happened like yeah, weeks word. ago. It hasn't happened in mad long. Because yeah. you ain't left the house. Back or snacks? Uh-huh. Snacks or back? Come on, hey. man. Don't, Don't you, you love snacks? Snack? Unless you're whack. Hey. Just saying. Are we trash for singing our own thing? <laughs> nah, nigga. Who else going to sing it? <laughs> you're right. Oh, man. Love you guys. Why has Howie Long's hair always been like that? Like the uh, the buzz cut, yeah. the military cut. Yeah, his wife cuts his hair. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I had to be like one of like the low points in my life. My mother was giving me haircuts. Uh, <laughs> we ain't had much of a choice at that time. Nope. How old are you? He's probably like nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> this is like thirty-two. <laughs> Darren, you look so handsome at <laughs> <in your> wedding <laughs> day. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put a little line for you? My mother <laughs> thought she was the barber of the year when she learned how to put that little line on the side of the head. Oh, the second Why? wedding. Not the first wedding. Oh, wow. Jen! Good night. See, I didn't even do it this time. <laughs> it's always the moms that cut the hair, though. Why our daddies ain't never want to cut our hair? I'm going to leave that alone. We're going to say racist people would say because they're not around. Wow. Because they left your black I ass. See, so, you said a picture I put on my Instagram this week? What was it? The I'm going about... to be a baby daddy for Halloween. And it was it was just a hat and a stroller. That reminded me of Ghost Dad. Remember Ghost Dad? With Bill oh, Cosby? I love that movie. Bill, that was a great full movie. Circle. Yeah, I never seen that movie though. But full that was circle. a great, great movie. movie. I see parts of it. Anyways. What? All right, we gotta go. Yeah, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning we in. We didn't do shout outs today. What? We, we didn't do shout outs today. Yeah. <laughs> you got a shout out? I actually have one. Oh shit! We Special edition of shout outs with yeah. Wait, I Amanda. Gotta, I gotta if you have a shout out that you want us to say, please hit us up. Um, DM us. Should we I do the us. viewer's choice thing again? I yeah, we should. Oh, I feel I like that. Yeah. was going to be gone last week, so I was going to say we should ask who wants to be on the show next week, but he's going to be here next so week. So we'll save that for next week for the following. All right, week. so if you want to be on the show, think about it. So next week when we ask, you can answer us. And we challenge. actually mean it. So, like, yeah, for the Darren's, people who've been who, asking us. Darren, the Renaissance man who has 17 jobs, is leaving us again. in two weeks Sorry. again. Yo, so, wait, I, he I don't do give care. a fuck. I, I feel do. like he's recording a secret podcast somewhere, but whatever. He is, though, right? I'm just saying. Are you ain't lying? Shit. You ain't lying? And he ain't even denying it. Look at this hoe. Look at this hoe ass lying. nigga. This, he can't even this. say bro or boy. <laughs> but he gonna sit there and be mum now? He <laughs> gonna be quiet now? Mm. Yeah, you shake your shoulders. <laughs> Oh, jolly ass laugh. <laughs> oh, Santa Claus ass laugh. <laughs> oh, Father Christmas ass jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name?
name of the episode? And to think I love you guys. I right? mean, what's the name? It's of my episode? choice. I don't, I don't know the name of the episode. Shout outs quickly. Oh yeah, 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 yep. Yo, so shout out to my boy Dev. Okay. He's got his clothing line that he's popping off because that's a thing that people do now. You know, everybody's creative and coming up with their new clothing lines. Your entrepreneurship. Yes. Oh yep. So he has a t-shirt line called Raining Tears. It's also just called Tears for short. And the Instagram page is at RNG. First of all, I want everybody to know that it took me a lot of effort to say the letter R like that. And not. <laughs> and not ah. That's good, actually. Yeah, I put a lot of effort. My jaw hurts a little. Pause. But it's at RNG, T I E R S, at RNG Tears. Follow him. He's putting his shirts up. He's just starting out. And he's a good dude. And his shirts are cool. So shout out to Dev. And go check him out and get some shirts because that's what we do out here. We get shirts. <laughs> um, Shout out to Dev. You got something for the pod squad? Nah, stickers or something? I nope. don't know, maybe. And I'm a tree. Right here, this is mine. Mm. <laughs> Darren, where's your tree? Where's your tree? If anybody, you got the tree because you, <laughs> you got the sleepy hollow hair. <laughs> sleepy hollow hair. <laughs> What's the thing? A whining willow? Whining willow? A, a weeping willow. Weeping willow. There you go. Ichabod crane ass tree. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Uh. <laughs> it's like a thriller pose. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care. No, I was like, y'all just do what you, you know. Want. Those sad people that we were talking about earlier. That's I am you. not one of them. Yeah, well, you're not nah, allowed to be sad. Damn it, you, you can't guys, be sad. You guys have bullied me into sadness. Bullied you into sadness. But man. how you? How did, that? Don't make no sense. Kanye Greg. the only one that gets bullied out here. Because he, he deserves bump. it. Hmm? Fuck him. All right, we out. <laughs> y'all listen to the Wayne album? That's it. We done. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that was Logic's good. Album. I had a lot of. Uh, uh, I don't do Logic, but I like the Wayne album. Logic could rap. Uh, Wayne, da, 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 maybe. Was, I haven't got through it all, but those two tracks I was like. The, the joint with Kendrick's crazy. Yes. See, my thing with Mona the Wayne Lisa? album. Yeah, 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 I need to listen to that again. I was Oof. like, whoa, that's yeah. an interesting take. See, yeah. my my yeah. Wayne thing is, I have to skip the first like four tracks. That first track was uncomfortable to listen. With to. his mama. Yeah. My eyes got. I couldn't. I couldn't. I was like, oh well. Well, you a soft ass. I'm a bitch, right? Yeah, you a whole bitch. <laughs> you, now you gotta watch million little things. Wait, wait, that means you, you not even a half bitch. Yeah, not a, oh, bitch. a whole bitch. <laughs> a whole ass bitch. I thought you said that meant like a whole bitch. No, no, no. I'm a, bitch. a whole ass Nigerian ass bitch. Wow. Fuck. So you gotta <laughs> you gotta watch million little things if that made you tear up. I don't want to tear up though. You I listen to what happened to this gum? How long has this gum been down here? <laughs> that shit looked like the condom and house party. I was just about to say, <laughs> hey, get this shit. All right, man. We gotta go. Yeah, <laughs> guys, enjoy your weekend. Wait, Thank wait, you for listening to us. Wait, uh, wait, what were you talking about? I don't know. This episode was long as what fuck. What were you talking about? Pause. What were you talking about? We were you talking about Wayne. Yeah, the, I like the album. Once I pass the first four tracks, I usually start at uproar. Yeah, and then once I get to uproar, I can just let it play without skipping. Were you shaking up? So to me, hell yeah. yeah. And the song with Ashanti, even though all yeah. you had to do was. Ah, you know it's on a Manny Fresh beat too. Of course, yeah. you can hear it. Yeah, for sure. So I'm I'm rocking with the Lil Wayne album. Yeah, I, I gave it a few listens. It was okay. I don't know if the replay value is there. Yeah, like that. I didn't I didn't hear anything I would want to replay. Shut again. the fuck up, Darren. Whoa. Bim can say, but you can't. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's a weeping willow. Don't do that, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> I like your chain. Darren, you'd be a better tree. Don't worry. You'd be a great tree. You'd be You're like solid. A, like a sequoia. You're a thick like ass a tree. Like a redwood. Pause. He, he, <laughs> he's a thick tree. He's thicker than a snicker. <laughs> thicker Good than night. a motherfucking snicker. Good morning, people. Snicker. Enjoy your weekend. Peace out, y'all. Uh, <laughs> big boned ass tree. <laughs>